Hello friends, I'm Nayashek from blogtooth.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, I'll teach you how to make a professional and beautiful dropshipping website using WordPress and Ali Dropship. Now if you don't know what dropshipping website is, don't worry, because I'll explain you in detail everything you need to know about dropshipping website, how it works and how to make money with this website. We'll also see some special features like tracking orders, comparing products and automatic dropshipping orders to the suppliers. Now before we proceed further, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon because after this video, I'll be making videos on how to select a niche for your dropshipping business, how to promote your website, how to generate sales, etc. So if you click on that bell icon, you'll receive a notification as soon as I upload those videos. Okay guys, now let's get started. First, let's see what dropshipping is. Now dropshipping is a form of business wherein the reseller which is you will collect orders from the customers and transfer them to the actual manufacturer or the supplier. For example, in this video, we'll be creating a website. So you will receive orders on your own website. The person will come to your website, purchase a product from your website and he'll make payment to you on your own website. And after that, you have to place that same product order on another website. For example, in this video, we'll be using AliExpress, which is the number one website for dropshipping. So you have to place the same product order on AliExpress and don't worry, you don't have to do anything manually. It's all automatic. I'll show you how it is done. You just click on one simple button and everything will be done automatically. So that product order will be placed and the person or the company which is AliExpress will ship the product to the customer. So we don't have to do anything over here. We just have a website. We are receiving orders and money from the customer. But we don't hold any inventory. We don't actually hold any stock or we don't have those products with us. We are just promoting someone else's product on our own website. And once that order is received, we will be uh, you know, informing the supplier or the manufacturer that this person from this country, from this place has has placed an order for this product. So you guys should ship that product to him. So we don't have to do any shipping or all the shipping, whether it be in any country will be done by AliExpress. So this is a very nice form of business. People are making tons of money with the dropshipping nowadays. And that's why I thought, you know, it will be a great idea if I would, you know, be able to teach you guys how to do dropshipping website and how to earn money with that. So I hope it is clear now, but still, if you have any doubt, don't worry. Once we start creating the website, once everything is done step by step, you'll understand it much better. So just stay tuned. Okay guys, so now let's see the demo website which we'll be creating in this video and what are the different features that we'll be getting in this video. So this is a demo website. Make sure you watch the complete demo website or the demo video that you're watching right now so that you get a fair idea about what you're going to create in this video. So this is the home page. Let me refresh this home page so that you can see the animations. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is our first section, the top se section. We have a full width image, a beautiful image and some you know, title, uh, subtitle and a call to action button. After that, we have another section. This section has all the categories. For example, we have women's category, babies, kids and young and men category. When you click on this uh, category button, you will be redirected to women's category. Okay. Now here we have a very beautiful tab. As you can see, when we click on different tabs, for example, when we click on men, we see all the products related to men. So all these are men's shoes and this is a very beautiful design as you can see over here. After that, we have this uh, notification, download our new app today, don't miss our whatever you want to put over here, you can put it. Then after that, we have another section at the left hand side, we have this beautiful image and at the right hand side, we have this carousel. As you can see, you can move it through your mouse or you can click on these different dots and you have different products showing over here. Then after that, we have the best seller section. Here we have all the best selling product which are there on our website. And as you can see, we have all these options like the amount of the website. When you hover this, we get many different options like add to cart or compare. Now later in this video, I'll show you how you can compare different products. Just stay tuned for now. This is also a tab. For example, when you click on different, for example, when you click on running, you get all the running shoes. When you click on training and gym, you get all the shoes which is for training and gym. Okay. Now after that we have this section which is the client section or the brand section. Now you will feature all the logos of the brands which are your, which you are selling the product of. Then we have this newsletter section. I'll show you how you can use 
newsletter because this is very important you know we will be using newsletter and i'll show you how to do email marketing for free in this video so you'll uh, learn a bit about that as well so that you can you know do email marketing and sell products through email marketing as well then after that we have the footer we have uh, this footer divided into different sections in the first section we have the logo and our information like your you can put in your phone number if you have a customer care phone number or you can put in your email address okay customer care email address then we have the address and after that we have this section here we have this beautiful logos which says mastercard visa card paypal mastercard all these things are accepted and this website is 100 percent secure okay so we have these logos as well not in secure and make fe secure logo over here then we have three more sections these are actually menus this is our primary menu this is the customer care menu whenever the customer want to go to their account whenever they want to track order see what is there in their wish list go to shop page all these things they can do it from here okay so this was our home page now let's see how the shop page looks like so this is our shop page here we have all the products which will be showing all the products are showing over here these are all the products which are there on our website as you can see these looks really beautiful and we have different display option for example this is one of them when you click on this one as you can see we have a different display option now this looks a bit different we have the add to cart button over here some details over here we have all the rating and everything and if you click on this button it will display like this okay so there are many different display options one is this and a very simple one like this as well okay so you can select between all these things we have many different sorting options as well okay filtration options i'll teach you everything that you see on this on your screen i'll teach you everything step by step and we won't be missing a single step okay so don't worry now let's see how a single product looks like so this is how your single product would look like as you can see we have different images and you don't have to you know get any image or something everything will be imported from the website aliexpress you don't have to type in anything you don't have to get any images okay you don't have to do anything everything will be just imported and after that you can edit it obviously for example this uh, title this is the title if you think this title is very big you can edit this title okay so this is the price and this is a variable product which means that there are different variations of this product available for example there are different colors available like red then we have white okay then we have gray and all these colors now whenever a person wants to select it for example he wants the red color and the uh, shoe size will be 10 so he can select red and 10 now he'll get the price over here so the price over here is 18884 okay so this is the price then he can add this product to cart and do a checkout we'll see these things later on first let's see one by one what we have in this website now when we scroll down we'll see the description again you don't have to do anything you don't have to type in any description you don't have to get all these images everything will be imported from aliexpress okay so this really simplifies our job really simplifies our work now we don't have any reviews over here but don't worry even reviews will be you know imported from aliexpress so whoever has put their review on aliexpress all those things will be imported so you know imp reviews also will be imported which is a really good feature okay so this was a single product page now at the left hand side you will see a very small sidebar we, here at the top we have all the categories then we have the latest products you can you know feature your featured products over here or the best selling products or the on sale products it's all up to you i'll teach you everything don't worry now let's move on and let's see what we have next okay here we have the compare page so this is how your compare page will look like you can compare different products for example if you see here i am comparing uh, four products you have all these product images oh you no know, you have the price you know you can compare with price availability whether they are available or out of stock we have the description add to cart button the price and everything now if you want to compare some different product what you can do is you can just remove these products for example you can just click on this x uh, button over here now as you can see that product is removed now if you want to add some new product to compare what you can do is you can go to uh, my product all the products or the shop page or any page for example let's add this product okay let's add this one this product let's add this product to compare so you you'll see this compare uh, link over here click on this now here it says added now here at the top you have this compare uh, link click on that now as you can see this shoe is also added in the compare list now you can compare this shoe with all these things okay so this is a very good feature okay now i really really like this feature 
So this is a very special feature. You hardly see this fe this kind of feature in any YouTube tutorial. Now let's move forward. After that, we have the tracking order system. Now this is also a very good uh, feature according to me. Now whenever a customer place uh, order on your website, they will receive an email and that email will have all the information like the order ID, the products, the price, billing address and all those things. So what the customer can do is they can come to this page. For example, here is the link track order. They can come over here, put in the uh, order ID. For example, I have ordered one product. Okay, so let me put in that ID. ID. The ID is uh, 41 and you can put in the billing address. So the billing email address is this one. Now, once you put in the ID and billing email, click on track. Okay, now as you can see, we get the tracking of that. Now here it says your product is shipped. Okay, your order ID was placed on this date and the end is currently completed. Now this is also a very good feature. Here, here they'll see the product that they ordered. This is the product and they ordered two quantity. This was the price. This was the shipping fees. I'll show you how you can set up different shipping fees how you can set up taxation and everything payment method we don't have to go to some different page to do payment we can receive payment on our own website okay i'll show you how we can do that as you can see payment method was credit card so this is a very good feature as well now let's move forward after this we have this thing now whenever someone place a order on your website you will receive that order you'll see that order in your dashboard for example this is our dashboard whenever you come to your dashboard at the left hand side you'll see many different options now from that option there is one option called woocommerce and under woocommerce the first option is orders when you click on that option you will be redirected to this page now when you want to see in detail what you can do you can click on this order as you can see here it says 41 this was the order i was talking about so this is the order as you can see the uh, date of creation when the order was created now if this is uh, in process if you if you, the, the order is not yet completed it will say process but the order is completed that's why it is showing completed okay you can see the billing address shipping address the email and phone number of the person who has uh, you know made this order you can see the product that is ordered you can see the uh, shipping cost here it is five dollars Okay, you can see all this information from here. Not only that, you can also add some notes or you can add some note to the customer. For example, if you want to say to the customer, if you want to send an email to the customer that your product is shipped, what you can do is here at the right hand side, you have this add note thing. You can just type in whatever and this note will be, you know, delivered to the customer. It will be emailed to the customer. For example, if you type in anything over here, and instead of private note, you select note to customer and click on add. For example, if you see over oh, here, I recently added a note which says your product is shipped. Now let's see whether this is received by the customer or not. Okay, so this is the thing that will that the customer will see after they put an order on your website. Whenever they place any order on your website, they will receive a email something like this. Your order details, order number, subtotal and everything. And as I said you earlier that I have you know put an order, I have put a note. Now let's see that note. Now as you can see here it says a note has been added to your order and the note uh, is your product is shipped. Okay, so this is also very important feature. You can you know stay in what in touch with your customer with this. Now let me show you how the customer can do a checkout on our website, how a person or the customer can purchase product from our website. For example, if the person likes this product, okay, so what he'll do is either he can click on this uh, product, he'll see the product page, he can add to cart from there or what he can do is he can just hover over here and click on add to cart. Now as you can see, this product is added to the cart. Now let's add one more product. For example, let's add this one. So how, okay, this is very expensive. Let's add this one. Hover over here and click on add to cart. So we have added two products in the cart. Now at the top, you'll see here besides that cart icon or that bag icon here, it says two because we have added two products in our cart. Now let's click on here and here you'll see all the two products which are added in our cart. Now either we can delete this from here, we can you know, remove it from our cart or we can see the, uh, we can view our cart or we can check out. So let's view our cart. Okay, so this is our cart page. This is how your cart page will look like here. It will say these are the products that you have uh, purchased and all these things over here. Okay, now you can use a coupon. You can apply coupons and get some discount. I'll show you how you can create coupons. Don't worry. We can also uh, see or calculate the shipping. For example, when you click on this 
calculate shipping button you can put in your address over here like your state name your country name and click on update totals now as you can see we are getting a shipping of five dollars okay so the total cost was 146 dollar and plus five dollar shipping cost and total we have to pay 151 dollars okay so let's pay it let's click on proceed to check out okay from here you can put in all your information for example your first name last name all these things here we have all the information about our product and from here we have to make a payment now as you can see there is a very beautiful feature because i have made a payment recently here it says your card is saved so once the payment is made the use the user the customer who is paying he, he has an option to add the uh, card the debit card credit card uh, so that you know whenever they come to our website next time they don't have to add the information again that information will be saved and he can use that information or you can he can just use some new card okay so here now you will see that we don't have to go to paypal or some different website to make a payment we can receive the payment on our own website okay let's see let's let me put a dummy card number over here okay this is the dummy card number the expiry date okay you can put any cbb number over here now here when he clicks on this when you tick marks this save to account you know that card information will be saved for example here one card information is already saved visa ending with 4242 okay so he can do that but i don't want to do it right now so i'm just entering the card number expiry date cvc number and let's click on uh, place order okay as, as you can see uh, here it says thank you your order has been received now the amount is credited in our bank account or in our stripe account now that is a very very good feature so you have seen how this works now let's move on now after that i'll also show you how you can create some additional pages now these are all bonus things okay i'm teaching you how to create an early dropship website how to set up an early dropship website with that i'm also giving you some bonus things like how you can also create your about us page a beautiful about us page like this then i'll also show you how you can create your facts page frequently asked question like here we have some dummy thing over here what shipping methods are available how long will it take to get my package and all these things we also will see how to create a terms and conditions page now there are many many different things that i want to show you but i think if i go to show each and everything then only the demo website will take one hour two hours so i don't want to waste your time now i just wanted to show you the demo thing so that you can get an idea what you're going to create in this website I hope you guys like the demo website and you guys are really excited to create this website and make some money. So if you guys are really excited then stay tuned. Okay guys so to create any kind of website whether it be a business website, an e-commerce website, a membership website or even a simple blog. We need two basic things. Without these two things you just cannot create any kind of websites in this world. Okay. The first thing is a domain name and a second thing is a hosting account. Now domain name is very simple. It's just the URL or the name of the website. Whatever you type in the URL bar or your you know address bar of your browser to reach to that website. For example, if you want to come to YouTube, what you do? You go to your browser, open a new tab and type in youtube.com to reach to that website. Now that is what a domain name is. YouTube.com, Google.com, Yahoo.com, blogdo.com all these things are different domain names so the first thing that we need is a domain name after that we also need one thing that is called hosting account now if you see this website which you see on your screen all these images all this data all the products which are there on your website everything is saved in a computer okay that computer is running 24 7 so whenever anyone comes and visits your website from any part of the world whether at night or at day any time they visit your website they see your website live okay now that is because all your data of the website is saved in a computer and it is running 24 7 so we need two basic things the domain name and a hosting account Without this, you just cannot proceed further. Now, there are many different companies uh, out there in the market that provide hosting services. Now, we have to select a very good one, the fastest, the most reliable one. Why? Because this is not the regular website we are creating. This is not just a simple business website or a blog. It is a different kind of website. It is a dropshipping website. It will have many different products. You know, it will require a better, a very strong computer. As I said, you all the data are saved in a computer. So that computer should be a very strong computer. 
the website should be reliable it should be secured it should be fast the performance of the website should be very very fast it should be seo friendly so this is a different kind of website and our demand is totally different so i have a very good company for you and that is the company that i personally use and i recommend to my clients and my family members whoever want to create a website so to get that hosting account what you can do is you can open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash tmd now this link is also given in the video description below so you don't even have to type it just go in the video description below click on that link and you will be redirected to this page now as you can see when you come over here there is some discount going on for shared hosting now we don't want shared hosting because shared hosting is very boring we need cloud hosting so here at the bottom you'll see a button it says get into the cloud now click on that button Okay, so when you do so, you see that there are three different packages, there are three different plans that you can choose from. Now I am using the enterprise cloud. Now let me show you what are the different features. And as I said you earlier, there are many different companies. And whenever you select a company out of thousand companies, it really should make some sense. You know, there should be a reason you must justify why you're selecting this company. So let's see, let's see what are the different and special features that this company provides and why we should select this as our hosting provider instead of some other company. Okay. So let's see all the features. The first feature is that it has got a six core CPU and a six GB of DDR4 RAM. As I just said, you guys, that a hosting is nothing but a computer, all your files, all your data is saved in that computer. So the computer which these guys are using is really really amazing that computer has got six cores of cpu now that is really insane okay you don't really get this thing in any other you know hosting account you also get 6 gb of ddr4 ram which will really improve the performance of our website you get unlimited bandwidth now this is also a very important feature because what is a bandwidth you know whenever someone downloads or transfers uh, data through your website that is what a bandwidth is okay so people can download or upload or you can download or upload any amount of data from your website so that is also a very important feature now after that we have ssd space this is the most important feature why we are selecting this company because you guys must know this this is a basic thing a basic uh, anyone who knows about computers must know this thing a regular hdd the difference between the regular hdd and a ssd now ssd is way more faster and way more reliable than the regular hdd if you guys don't know much about it what you can do is you can open a new tab and type in hdd versus S ssd web hosting you'll get a better idea about that now as you can see there are many different articles written on this uh, on this topic you can read them all you'll get a better idea or, or what you can do you can just click on images you'll see different results over here so let's click on the first image the first result now when you click on over here as you can see there are three different criteria over here the first one is speed the orange bar is the hdd and the green bar is the ssd now as you can see at the bottom it says higher is better so you can see ssd is way more higher than the hdd which means the speed of your website will be way more better and way more higher and faster than the regular hdd website now see most of the people who are creating website they will be using a hosting account which has a regular HDD. So your website will be way more faster, which really gives you an edge over other companies. After that, we have another criteria which says IOPS. Again, at the bottom, it says higher is better. Now here also you can see the difference is just insane. There is an insane amount of difference between the regular HDD and SSD. And the third one is latency. And here at this time at the bottom, it says lower is better now again you can see the difference is just insane now this simply means that there is no comparison between ssd and hdd ssd is just the winner is simply the winner and it is really fast and reliable now not only that we get ssd space we get unlimited ssd space because there are few companies out there in the market that do provide ssd space but they provide a very limited space for example 1 gb 5 gb or at the maximum they provide 30 gb i have not seen many companies providing over 30 gb but here we are getting unlimited ssd space which is really really amazing after that we have unlimited website hosted now this is also very important feature that we should see before selecting any hosting account 
Now, what does this mean? So today we are creating this dropshipping website. Tomorrow you might need to create another website, a business website or an e-commerce website, any kind of uh, website or maybe a, just a simple blog. So tomorrow you again don't need to purchase a new hosting account. You can host that website. In fact, you can host unlimited website in just one single hosting plan okay so it is a one-time uh, uh, investment you don't have to invest in this again and again it's just a one-time investment you invest in this hosting account and you can create hundreds of website with this okay we also get a free domain with this we get a premium support free cpanel beautiful web server wildcard ssl now this is one again a very very important feature why now first when you see the demo website here you will see this secure socket at the top this green secure socket now this is very very important because if you don't have this and if you are running an e-commerce website whenever a person visits your website google chrome tells them that this website is not secure you should not use this website especially you should not provide any data any credit card debit card details on this website now you have seen that in the demo website that we can make payment on the website itself now that thing is only possible if we have this ssl certificate if you don't have this ssl certificate you cannot accept payment on your website because your website will not be secure and you just cannot accept payment so this is a very very important feature now not only that it has SSL certificate, it has wildcard SSL certificate which means that you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of websites, domains and subdomains. For example, if you see over here, this is actually a subdomain. It is ali.nayashik.com. This is not a domain. Nayashik.com is a domain name and this is just an extension or a subdomain but, it's, uh, but it still has an SSL certificate. Now the price for one SSL certificate is around forty to hundred dollars or sometimes even higher. So indirectly we are saving hundreds of dollars over here. We also get optimum cache which will improve the performance and speed of your website. After that we have memory cache instance of 256 MB. Again this will improve the performance and speed of your website. Now after that it says the performance of this plan, the enterprise uh, plan is three times better than the business and starter cloud plan. You also get 60 day money back guarantee. Okay guys, so these are the different features why I am using this company, why I am using the enterprise cloud, why I recommend this uh, to my friends, my families, my clients and why I am recommending you to this. This is the reason behind that. Okay. Now you can select from any one of these plans. I never recommend anyone to select the starter cloud. The reason is very simple. First, it does not have a very good performance and second, it has only one website hosted. So you can host only one website with this. For example, you're creating this website, you can use or you can host this website. But tomorrow, if you want to create another website, again, you will have to purchase the hosting account, which is not a good idea. So you can select the business cloud or the enterprise cloud. Both are good. I'm using the enterprise cloud so I'll select enterprise cloud now click on this button which says get started now over here we have to enter the domain name which you want for free okay so you can just enter your domain name over here I'm entering my domain name and after that you can select the extension if you're creating this website for some you know for some uh, uh, organization or something then you can select the dot org extension if you're creating this website for specific country for example only for india you can select dot in extension but for most of you guys i would recommend selecting dot com that is the most common most famous one okay select the dot com extension put in your domain over here and click on proceed now over here you have to put in some contact information some basic contact information like your first name last name your email address phone number and all these things then you have to put in the payment information you have to select your card type visa mastercard whatever card you're using you have to put in the card number cvv number and your expiry date now for those guys who are watching this video from india most of the people in india have a rupee card now rupee card is not accepted over here in fact rupee card is not accepted anywhere except india you can make payment with rupee card only in india but if you want to make payment uh, to over here you have to have this visa card or mastercard or you can pay through paypal okay you also have the paypal option after that we have to select the purchase information now the first option over here says select your data center's location now when you click on this this is a drop down and you have to select the one which says nearest to you for example as you can see over here singapore says nearest to you so i'll select that one 
now by default 12 month period is selected i also recommend selecting 12 month period never ever select the one month period because you will have to pay seven dollars extra per month so by the end of the year you're already paying paying 70 80 dollars extra which is not a good idea plus you'll have to you know renew your account every single month so i would recommend you to go with 12 month plan then uh, one thing is automatically ticked over here which is domain privacy now if you wanna if you wanna you know protect your privacy for example if you wanna protect your first name last name your email address something like that then you can tick mark this it will cost you around ten dollars per year now this is a kind of important thing if you don't want anyone to see who is the person who has registered this website then you can see this thing but if you don't have any problem anyone seeing who is the person who has registered this website then you can just untick this and save ten dollars per year okay it's all up to you now after that we have the most important step the most important thing that you have to do here we have the promo code now here you have to enter nayar 7 n a w y a r numeric 7 now this coupon code is also given in the video description below so you can just copy that paste it over here and click on apply now as you can see it says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase so we are getting 7% discount and 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers on cloud hostings. So indirectly you are getting the highest discount possible, which is really amazing. Now once you are done with all these steps, the tick mark over here which says I agree to the TMD terms of services and click on checkout. Now once you click on that checkout button, you will receive an email from TMD hosting. Now this is a very, very important mail because you have some really important and crucial information like your username, your password your server IP, name servers, all these important information over here. So make sure you save all this information somewhere or what you can do is you can, you know, redirect this thing or you can forward this mail to different email addresses. If you own multiple email addresses, just forward this to those different email addresses. Just make sure, do anything, just make sure you have this information secured. Now here at the bottom, you will see control panel link, open that link in a new tab. Now here you, it will ask you for your username and password, copy your username and password from that email and paste it over here and click on login. Okay guys, so this is your cPanel. Now what you have to do, you have to go at the bottom under Softaculous app installer section and click on WordPress. Okay, now it's time to install WordPress on our domain name. So just click on this install now button. From here, select your domain name. So I'm selecting my domain name. Okay, and now from the top, which says choose protocol choose the third or the fourth one the one which uh, says https okay you should have the extension extension s over here so you can select the third one or the fourth one now when you select this thing you will get this uh, ssl certificate this secure socket over here now after that you have the directory option over here in directory and under that wp thing is already typed in so just delete that wp and make sure this uh, box is blank after that you have your site name and your site description so you can put in your site name over here so i'm just making typing shoes market you can put in your company name your site name over here and your site description okay a uh, tagline or a short description ab about your business so i'll just type in shoes business okay then after that we have our account admin account information and you have to change this thing the admin and pass change the admin and put in some you know, a nice username that you can remember and change this password and put in your own password over here so i'm typing in my own password after that also change this email address from the bottom admin email address change it from here now go at the bottom and click on install so as you can see uh, wordpress is getting installed on our website it will take few seconds okay just let's wait as i said you guys it took few seconds now we get two different links over here. The first one is our website link and the second one is the dashboard or the administrative link. So what you can do, you can open the second link, click on the second link. Okay guys, so this is our dashboard. This is the dashboard of our website. This is the place from where we will you know, control our website, we'll control everything. This is the place from where we will create different products, we will create different pages, different posts and so on. So if you have not done this thing before, if you're using WordPress for the first time, if you're creating website for the first time, don't worry guys, this is the most easiest way to create a website, most easiest, most reliable way. So don't worry, I'll teach you everything step by step. Okay, so just relax and just follow me, okay? 
So the first thing that we have to do first, let me let me show that thing. So at the left hand side, you have different option. And from amongst that options, we have one which says media. However, media, you'll get two new options. One is library and the second one is add new. Click on add new. Now here, as you can see, it says maximum upload file size is 2 MB. So you can upload file which are which is up to 2 MB. If your file size is uh, you know more than 2 MB, you cannot upload that. Now this is a problem because uh, we don't we want to increase this limit. Okay. So what you can do is you can go to my website blogtube.com or what I'll do is I'll give you the direct link to that post. Okay. Let me find that post from here. Here it is the uploaded file size exceeds and whatever it is. So I'll give a direct link to this post in the video description below. Click on that link. You'll be redirected to this page. Go at the bottom and here you have this four or five lines of codes. Copy it from here. Now go to FileZilla, open FileZilla. If you don't know how to set up FileZilla, by the way, what you can do is there is a video on my channel on how to set up FileZilla. You can watch that video. It will really, really help you. Okay. Now, once you open FileZilla, you'll see different folders. So over here, you'll have to select the folder about your website name. For example, the website which I'm going to create is ali2.nashek.com and here is the folder. Open that folder. Okay. Uh, now what you'll see a file which says dot ht access now what you have to do you have to drag this file on your desktop so at the top over here you'll see this desktop option over here let me see here is the desktop option make sure this is selected so it will show your desktop okay this is my desktop we have all these files over here now drag this file from your website folder to your desktop okay now once you do so you'll see this file on your desktop okay now we have to open this file and one if you're not able to open this file do one thing, download a software called Sublime Text. It is a free software. Once you uh, uh, download that software, you will be able to open this file. Okay. Now this is how your file should look like. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to paste those codes over here. Okay. As you can see, I have pasted these four or five lines of codes over here. Now press Control S to save the file. Now let's cut this thing. Now again, come to FileZilla. Now what you have to do, you have to refresh this section, okay, your desktop section and drag this .ht access file to your uh, website file folder, okay, drag it from here, from your desktop to your website folder, it will ask you to overwrite it, select overwrite and click on OK. Now as you can see, it says transfer finished. Now again, let's come back to this page and earlier it was saying maximum upload file size 2 MB, let's refresh and see the changes. Now, as you can see, it says 64 MB. Now, this is great. Okay, now we can proceed further. Okay, now let's first get rid of all these things. Okay, let's cut all these things. Now, let's see how our website is looking at present. So, when once you hover this at the top here, you, it should say your website name. For me, it says uh, shoes market. So, once you hover over here, you'll get this link, visit site, open this link in a new tab. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is how your website is looking at present and this is really looking terrible. Just boring, trashy website. We don't want anything like this. We want to create a beautiful website like this one. Okay, now to change this uh, website, this boring website into something amazing like this, we need something called themes. Now for those of you guys who are creating website for the first time, themes are nothing but designs okay for example at present this is all also a theme this is 2017 theme so this is the boring design of that theme now to change this thing we need this design and this design is called tech market okay so if you want to get this, this design what you can do you can open a new tab and type in blogtube.com slash tech market now this link is also given in the video description below you can click on that link and you will be redirected to this page now this is a premium theme which means that you have to purchase that theme. This is not a free theme. For those of you guys who cannot afford a premium theme at present, I recently made a video on top 10 or top 7 free e-commerce themes. You can watch that video. I'll try to give a link of that video in your video description below. Watch that video. I have given you know few suggestions on free e-commerce themes. You can use those themes but what I would recommend you is 
make sure just try and make sure to use this theme the premium theme because you know it will improve the speed the seo thing and also the you know design it will beautify beautify your website a lot okay so this is the theme that i recommend what you have to do you have you have to click on this link which says buy theme but i won't be doing that because i have already bought this theme okay so once you purchase this theme you will get a file okay let me show you that file okay that file would look something like this a theme forest tech market it will say something like this now what you have to do you have to open this file okay this is not the file that we have to download okay first we have to open this file we have this folder and under this folder we have another folder which says theme files let's open this folder and under this we have this file which says techmarket.zip okay so this is the zip file now this is the file that we have to upload so what you can do you can select this file and click on extract to okay and click on okay now once you do so you will see a new folder over here okay tech market open that folder and here is the file okay now this is the file that we have to upload okay so let's do that okay now from the left hand side click on appearances now as you can see over here by default three themes are already installed but we don't need these things so what we can do is we can just delete them so let's select this one and click on delete also let's select this theme delete it now we need to install the theme which we have just purchased so what you can do is click on add new now click on upload theme choose file and choose the file that you have just uh, extracted for example here is the folder under that folder this is the file choose this file click on open now click on install now now if you see at the bottom left corner uh, if you're using the google chrome you'll see at the bottom left corner of your browser the progress 40 percent 50 percent so by the time the theme is getting installed you guys can click on that red subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos because i make really awesome videos i don't make any trashy videos any videos that is not helpful i make only those videos that really help help people to set up a new website to set up a new business okay so make sure you guys do that Okay, as you can see now the theme is successfully installed. Now it's time to activate the theme. So just click on this link which says activate. All right guys, now if you see over here, the tech market theme is installed and activated. Now it will ask you to install some plugins. So just click on this button which says begin installing plugins. Now there are many premium plugins, uh, paid plugins that comes for free with this theme. For example, King Composer is a premium a paid plugin you have to purchase this thing but with this plugin with this theme tech market theme you're getting this for free redux framework uh, and uh, revolution slider all these things are you know all these plugins are paid and we are getting these things for free so this is also a very good thing now one we cannot install one by one that will take a lot of time so what we'll do is we'll tick mark over here and it will tick mark everything that we have and from the bulk action select install and click on apply Okay guys, so as you can see, all the plugins are successfully installed. Now at the bottom, you'll see a link which says return to required plugin installer. Click on that link. Now we have to activate all the plugins. So let's do the same thing. Tick mark over here. It will select everything. Now from the bulk action, select activate and click on apply. Okay guys, so as you can see, all the plugins are installed and activated. So which is really good. Now what you can do, what you have to do from the left hand side, you'll see a new option which says King Composer. Click on that. And here you have three different tabs, general setting, KC Pro and change logs. Now click on KC Pro. Now we get, we have to get the King Composer Pro version. So click on this button, install KC Pro automatically. Okay, as you can see, it says installation complete. Now it, the page is re reloading. Okay, now we have this pro version of this. Now let's come back to our website. Let's refresh it. Okay guys, now as you can see, the design is totally changed and this is looking a much better, at least better than the earlier one. Okay, now we have the uh, SSL certificate over here. We have the design over here. Now it's time to start creating our website. But before that, we need one very important plugin. In fact, that is the core of this video. That is the core of this website. The plugin's name is Ali Dropship. What you can do is you can open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash ads for Ali Dropship. Okay. And press enter. And also this link is also given in the video description below. You, you don't need to type it or anything. Just click on that link. You will be redirected to this page. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to purchase this plugin. Now click on buy plugin. Okay. Click on this button. 
okay now as you can see you can buy this plugin for only 89 dollars now this is a must you can use a free theme that's your wish which i don't recommend but still you can use that a few free theme and still continue but you have to purchase this theme okay this is the core of this video you cannot create a drop shipping website early drop shipping website without this plugin okay so to purchase or to get this plugin just click on this button buy now for only 89 dollars okay now make sure you don't tick mark over here include hosting because you don't want to include hosting we have already purchased a hosting now do everything put in your purchase information like your email address and uh, if you want to make payment through credit card debit card put in your those details over here and click on complete order so i won't be doing that because i have already purchased that now once you purchase all these things you will receive an email and that email will have your uh, code your license code let me show you okay as you can see here is my license code what you have to do you have to copy this license code cut this thing now from here at the top you'll see resources how about resources and click on updates because we want the latest uh, software and from here select uh, the plugin version or okay so you have to select the one uh, this one ali dropship woo okay the one which says woo because we will be using it with WooCommerce. So select this one, Ali Dropship Woo. Select this one and select the first one, uh, 5.6 slash 7. And here put in your license key and click on download now. Now as you can see the plugin has started downloading but I don't want to download that because I already have this plugin. So can I'll be cancelling it and just cut this thing. So make sure you download this plugin. Once you download this plugin again come back to your dashboard now similarly like we installed the theme now it's time to install the plugin so from the left hand side you will see one option called plugins click on that okay now as you can see there are two plugins that we don't need first one is akismet anti-spam delete that plugin from here and the second one is hello dolly delete this as well okay now for those of you guys who don't know what a plugin is who are new to wordpress plugin is a way to extend the functionality of your web word of your wordpress website for example normally wordpress website is not you uh, know is not meant for drop shipping website you cannot create a drop shipping website with wordpress so if you want to create a drop shipping website with wordpress you have to extend the functionality you have to add some extra functionality into wordpress and that is done through plugin and that is the reason we purchased this th this plugin ali dropship plugin now it will extend the functionality of wordpress and after that we can use this wordpress pl uh, this wordpress website as a drop shipping website okay so i hope it is cleared so once you do that once you uh, purchase that plugin come over here and click on add new plugin now click on upload plugin choose file and let me search for that file here it is uh, this is the plugin file select this click on open now click on install now okay as you can see it is getting installed now once it is installed click on this button which says activate plugin okay guys so as you can see our plugin is now successfully installed and activated now we have to register this plugin okay so what you can do from the left hand side at the bottom you'll see ali dropship woo click on that now it will ask you for a license key you just cannot proceed further without a license key so you have to paste the license key that you received on your email address over here oh yes as you can see after you click on that activate button it will say that license code is valid please go to the dashboard okay so let's cut this thing now click on over here this icon which says main click on over here and let's see what all pages we have at present so let's click on pages now as you can see over here we have only two pages one is sample page another one is wishlist page now the first thing that we have to do is delete this sample page so how about this and click on trash and we need this wishlist page now we need some more pages like uh, the shop page the cart page and all these pages these are very very important pages now we don't see that over here now what we can do is we can open a new tab and type in woocommerce short codes okay type in this and as you can see here you'll see all the short codes uh, let me see that okay here this uh, open this link okay short codes included with woocommerce i'll try to give this link also in the video description below so you don't even have to search for this one now if you see over here there are four different short codes given woocommerce card checkout my account and order tra tracking now come back to this page on your pages now click on this button which says add new now let's add a new page which uh, and let's call it cart page 
or let's just call, call it cart. Now come back to this page, copy this shortcode from here. Again, come back over here. Okay, let's cut this thing and just paste it over here and click on publish. Now let's view this page in a new tab. Now this is what it should say. Your cart is currently empty, which means that this is working. Now this has become our cart page. Now what you can do is again click on add new and let's uh, add the checkout page this time. So let's give it a title of checkout. Come back over here. Let's copy this code now, this short code. Copy it, come back again over here, paste it over here and click on publish. Now let's view this page in a new tab. Okay, so we are getting a blank page which is fine. So let's cut this thing again. If you see the next page is my account page. So click on add new. Let's give it a title of my account and come back over here. Copy this from here and let's paste it over here. Okay, click on publish. Now again, let's view this page in a new tab. Okay, as you can see, this has become our my account page. We have the dashboard, the orders, uh, the downloads, addresses and all these options over here, which means this uh, that this is also working. Now let's cut this thing again, come back over here. And the next page that we need is order tracking. So copy this thing from here, come back again, click on add new. And let's type order tracking or track order, whatever you want to put paste the shortcode over here, click on publish. Now again, let's view this page in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is how your page should look. Your order ID, billing address, this should show over here, okay? So everything is working now. Now let's get rid of all these things. Okay, now let's try to import some product from AliExpress. So what we can do is from the left hand side, again, click on this link, Ali Dropship Woo. Click on that link. Now this time you should be redirected to this page and it is loading. Now to use this plugin, we need an extension, Chrome extension, Google Chrome extension. So make sure you're watching this video or you're creating this website on a Google Chrome browser. Okay. Now you can click on this link. Now add this extension to your Google Chrome. Just click on this button, add to Chrome, click on add extension. Okay. Now as you can see, this extension is added over here. So we can cut this page. Again, come back over here. Now let's refresh it. Okay, guys. Now, as you can see, this is working. Now there are many different ways of, you know, importing products from AliExpress. Let's see one by one. I'll show you all the different ways of importing products. And after that, we'll see which is the best. And you can see by yourself, whatever is suitable for you. You can just, uh, you know, use that method. So this is the fir first method from here. You can fill in this form, what all you want to import and you can apply filter. Let's see. Okay, first you have to select the category. So I am making a website related to shoes. So what I'll do is I'll select shoes category from here. Okay, here it is. Select the category and you have to enter the keyword, whatever keyword you want to type on AliExpress to see the products. Okay, so maybe I will type the keyword men sneakers, something like that. Okay, now unit price. Now all the product that you want to import from AliExpress, what should be the minimum and maximum price of that product? So maybe the minimum price can be $1 and the maximum price can be maybe $5,000 and purchase volumes. Now, how many products of that, now how many quantity of that products should be sold within 30 days? Okay, so AliExpress should have sold this many products, uh, this many quantity of that particular product in the last 30 days. Okay, so only those products will be imported. So I want minimum one product. Okay. So in the last 30 days, that product should have sold at least one product. Only that I only then I'll import that product. Okay. So I'm selecting minimum one and maximum. It can be anything, maybe 5,000 or maybe 50,000. It's all up to you. Now feedback score, how many total number of positive feedbacks that that seller must have so that his product will show in our filter. So I'll select at least one and maybe it can go up to hundred thousand. It's all up to you. Okay. Now, after you fill in this thing, click on apply filter. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have all these products showing over here. Okay. Now, suppose you want to uh, import all the products, then what you can do is you can tick mark over here. All these product will be selected and you can import it uh, one. Okay. By you'll select this bulk action and you'll uh, select this thing. Uh, import selected and everything will be imported or else if you want to import specific products what you can do is first let's untick this thing okay so everything is unticked now now suppose i want to import this product so i'll select this one 
then maybe this one okay so whatever you want to import you can select all those products you can tick mark all those things come back to this bulk and uh, select uh, select this option import selected and only those products that are selected that are tick mark will be imported or you can click on this button add to import list add to import list one by one okay it's all up to you now you have different pages over here for example if you see that two pages of result so this is the first way of importing products now let me show you the next way of importing products so what you can do is you can go to aliexpress.com open a new tab and type in aliexpress.com okay so this is the website okay now let's find out that shoes category so if you see over here bags and shoes so here we have men's shoes when you hover bags and shoes at the right hand side you have many different options let's click on men's shoes now as you can see when we selected this uh, because we have installed this extension okay this google chrome extension and also because we have this plugin the ali dropship plugin over here now at the top we are getting this bar now what we can do is here in the search result there are 45 products so what we can do we can just click on this import 45 products and all the 45 products will be imported now here you have to select the category in which you want to import those products so we haven't yet created any categories so first let's create a category okay now categories can be of different types you can create a category different based on different criteria for example you can create category based on brands for example nike rebox those kind of categories or you can create categories uh, depending on different kinds of shoes or different kinds of product whatever product you're selling for example sneakers leather shoes and so on okay so it's all it all depends on you so let me come back over here let's come back to the dashboard click on this main button now let's hover products let's see where it is here it is products hover products and you'll see this categories option click on categories now as you can see at uh, at present one category is always present with this which is uncategorized now you cannot delete this thing okay so what we'll do we'll edit this one okay let's click on edit and instead of uncategorized let's name it something like uh, let's search for any chinese brand from here for example here we have i don't know how it is pronounced but this is uh, the one let's i'm selecting this one okay u p u p e r so let me select this one u p e p u r i guess it was okay no i'm wrong okay so this is the spelling now same thing you have to type under slug this is just uh, you know the url okay slug is just the url now you can type in some descriptions if you want you can have some jumbotrons display type now you don't have to do anything over here just click on update now let's create another category okay let me search for something different let me search over here men's sneakers okay i really like this first one this shoe is really looking awesome and when you hover this it says e packet is available now this is what we want okay now here there are many different options as well if you see over here it says at when you hover this product it says us free which means the which means that this product is uh, available for free delivery in us and it will take around 10 12 15 days to deliver this product okay so this is really really nice and also it is a e packet so make sure uh, you select uh, those you give priority to those product which are showing this e packet thing over here at the top okay very very important okay so let me just add uh, some really random thing over here so what i can do i can go to go back to categories and let me add my brand name which is fahim so i am typing my brand name over here okay i'll just type in the brand name over here slug or you can leave this slug okay and click on add new category now we have this category over here now basically in drop shipping websites you don't import all the things like okay fine i'm able to import all the 41 products now you don't go ahead and import all the 41 products you choose very carefully for example uh, let me explain you one very simple thing suppose you're planning to sell only in us okay so what you can do you can uh, go at the top over here uh, okay and first you can change the categories or this currency and all these things so you can change the currency from here so because you are planning to sell only in us then what you can do you can select us from here and in the country you can select united states and click on save now when you do so you'll see over here that all the product prices are showing in us dollars now suppose you are planning to sell in different country you can select that country's currency so this will be very good for you okay so we as we have selected us on all these things so now let me select this one i think this product is really looking nice and it can really sell well okay 
So let me open this. Okay, guys. So as you can see, when we open this thing, we have all these things. We it is available in different colors. Okay, three colors are available, like black, I guess, gray, and this orange color. And different sizes are also available. Now, the great thing about this website that we are creating is that we don't have to create any variations, anything. All these variations will also be imported. Okay, so all these different variations, different sizes, everything will be imported. You don't have to do anything. Now, as you can see in the shipping uh, thing here, it says free shipping to United States via ePacket because we have selected United States over here. So it is providing free shipping. And if you want to see uh, shipping charges of different countries, what you can do, you can click on this. You will see this uh, thing is available. And if you want to see uh, shipping for different country, you can select different country from here. For example, let me select India from here. Let's search for India. Okay, here it is. Now, as you can see here all in India also, it is uh, providing free shipping. So it's all up to you. You can check, uh, check these things. Very, very important. Okay. Now at the bottom, you'll see there are different product descriptions given. Okay. This is, uh, this is the product description. We have many different images over here. Then we also have some more things like we have feedback. Okay. All these things. Now you can check the shipping thing from here also. Okay. You can uh, select uh, increase or decrease the number of quantity. You can select how, which country and it will give you the shipping cost and estimated delivery time available. Okay. Now here also there are two ways of importing this product. Okay. The first way is that you can edit the thing. You can edit the product from here. For example, here it is selling uh, between $15 to $18. Okay. So when you're importing this product, obviously you won't be selling this on uh, the, at the same price. You'll keep some margin because, uh, you, you, if you don't keep some, some margin, then it is useless. Why the heck are you doing this? So we need some margin at the top. For example, if it is selling for $18, we can sell this thing on our website for $25. Okay. Because we have to see all the shipping cost and you have to promote your website on different social platforms. You have to use AdWords and all these things. So you have to consider all those different costs in mind. Okay. Only after that, you have to select the cost or you have to, you know, select the cost at which you want to sell on your website. For example, it is selling at the max or at $18. So maybe I think 25 to $30 will be nice because still for 25 to $30, this is a really good shoes. Okay. Now what I'll do is let me show you another way of importing it. You can click on over here. First, you have to select the category. Okay. For example, I want to import in this category so I can select this category and click on edit. Okay. Now from here, you can edit all these things before importing it on your website. Okay. For example, you can edit the title. If you don't want this big title, you can select your own title. You can edit the permalink. Okay. You can edit the description. For example, if you don't like this image, you select this, you just press the delete button and that image is gone. Okay. So it's all up to you. It's really, really easy. You can also change the pricing and different things. Let's see where those things are. Let's scroll down. Okay. Here you have different items specific uh, specifics. Okay. Here we have the variations. Here is the shoes size and all those things. So you can change it everything from here, but I don't recommend this way of, you know, importing product because let me show you why the first I was just I'm just showing you that this is this is also a way of importing. Okay, so we have seen two ways of importing product. The first one was from here. Let's again go to this uh, Ali dropship. The first one was using this form. The second one using this edit button and the third one is using the is just simply importing the product. Okay, we don't do any changes from here. We do all the changes on our website and I recommend that one because that really simplifies the job. Okay, so what I'll do. I'll select this. I'll select the category in which I want to import this. So for example, I want to import it under FAM category. So I'll select FAM and I'll click on import. Now this product is getting imported. All the description, title, images, variations, everything will be imported. Okay. So let's come back to our website. Let's click on main and let's see here it is products. Let's open this products in a new tab. Okay guys. So as you can see, we have uh, products over here. I think I imported these two. Okay. I selected it. That's why it got imported. I didn't want it to import this. So what I can do is I can select both this thing from here, go to bulk and click on move to trash and click on apply. Okay. Now those are deleted. Now this is the product that we just imported. Okay. This one. So let's see how we can do some changes over here. So what you can do is you can click on this edit button. Now you can change the uh, title from here. You can change the permalink from here. 
you can change all these things description if you want some if you want to add some more images over here you can add it if you want to delete some Im images from here you can delete it if you want to change the photo gallery you can change it from here and when you come at the bottom let's see here you have the different things for example when you go to variations okay when you click on variation you'll see that there are many different variations available okay because here there are many different colors available and different sizes are available i think one okay i uh, one two three four five six six sizes are available and i think four five colors three colors are available so 18 different variations are created now if you let's see over here for example when we select this 6.5 size and when we select this black color you get the price over here as 14.5 dollars and we when we select this orange color as you can see the price increases to 18 dollars so all the variation have different prices for example let's change this variation what's the first variation over here here the first variation is orange 9.5 so let's see let's select 9.5 let's select orange okay so the price over here is 18.9 dollars so what we can do is uh, we can expand this thing now don't make any changes in the SKUs or anything just make sure you have to make changes in the sale price okay or in the uh, in the regular and the sale price so the regular pri price over here is 25.80 or maybe 26 dollars and this product is on sale at 18 dollars so what I, I want to do is I you can increase the regular price and you can also increase this sale price now I just want to increase the regular price maybe to uh, maybe let's increase the regular price to 40 dollars and if you if you notice one thing at present pounds are selected okay dollars are not selected over here we'll fix that thing later on okay just follow me i just want to show you everything step by step okay so we have changed the regular product uh, price and let's change the sale price so let's make it maybe maybe 25 dollars okay let's see what happens let's click on publish okay let's now open this product in a new tab let's open this link in a new tab okay as you can see over here this is how this product looks on our website now we also will change the design how it looks on our website don't worry okay first let's see how it is working you have all the variations showing on over here now the reason i prefer using a premium theme a paid theme is because of all these things okay you have all this beautiful design on your website if you use a free theme which you can use obviously i'm not stopping you but i would recommend you to use any good premium theme okay because the design thing really really matters now let's see whether that is working so here is our orange and let's select 9.5 okay now as you can see the price is showing 25 dollars the regular price is showing 40 dollars okay so this thing is working so this is how you should edit uh, things from your website now if you see over here there are no reviews available over here but in this website there are 76 reviews available now we can also import reviews yeah that's right guys you heard it right we can also import reviews this is really really crazy this software this plugin is really awesome we can also import reviews let's see how we can do that first let's come back to this product thing let's see if we are not missing anything let's scroll down okay so we can, we have seen how we can change uh, this description if you don't want this image you can select it you can just click on remove that image is gone if you want to delete this product gallery you can delete it if you want to change this product image you can change it uh, from here okay or if you want to learn more about this woocommerce plugin there is a video on my channel i'll give a link to that video in the video description below okay so if you watch that video you will understand this section more clearly okay but here there is nothing uh, more to understand now here we have reviews nothing is given and i don't recommend you to do any changes over here just keep everything same okay we also have some supplier information as you can see all the information are available over here okay now i think uh, this is fine now let's see how we can import reviews so again come back over here click on ali dropship thing over here click on leave okay so this was how to import products now at the left hand side you'll see one thing which says import reviews click on that okay now you can select what reviews to want to uh, import okay so if you want to import only those reviews which are five stars or four star and higher and all these things so what i'll do is i'll select only four star and higher so i want to imp import only those reviews which are four stars and higher okay so this will give a nice image a nice uh, you know brand loyalty to that product 
Now we also have one more option which says translate reviews in my language. If someone has given review in different language like Hindi or Chinese, you can translate that into English. So we need this. Then send reviews to draft. No, we don't want to do that. Ignore images. If you want, you can ignore images. Okay, it's all up to you. Okay, this one was for ignore, ignore images and this one was for import reviews with images only. Now we don't want this. Import reviews from my country only. Now we also don't want this. Now up to how many reviews do, do you want to import? So maybe up to 100. Okay. So let's uh, select all these things and click on import. Now if you notice one thing, we have deleted these two products, but still uh, the reviews are getting imported. That is because we did not actually delete it. We just put it in the trash section and after going to the uh, trash section and after going to that section, we actually have to delete it from there. Now this is the product that we are talking about and as you can see 28 reviews are imported. Now again, come back to this page. Let's ref refresh first. If you see over here, at present, there are zero reviews over here. Let's refresh this page. Okay, guys, now as you can see here, it says 28 reviews. Let's click on this. Now, as you can see, now this product is showing 4.9 review. You know, we have four, uh, four, star ra four star rating and 24 five star rating. And some people have also given these images over here, okay, in the review. So this really increases the brand loyalty. So we do want the images to be shown over here. Okay, as you can see, Okay, this is really looking awesome. I think this website is really going to, you know, really going to be successful and really going to make you some really nice money. Okay, so this is how you import your product and how this is how you import your ratings. Now let's come back over here. Let's see what we have next. Now we add the, uh, again, we have some more option, which is settings. Let's click on settings. Okay, so this is the general setting or the main settings. Now, if you see over here, the first option is callback URL. Now here it says enter your callback URL to get 20, 12, up to 12% 12 cashback from each purchase on AliExpress. Now this is actually affiliate thing. Now what you can do is you can also do uh, drop shipping and at the same time, you can also do affiliate marketing. Now that will save you some more money. For example, when you do affiliate uh, marketing plus drop shipping at the same time, what happens is now suppose you're selling that product that we have seen the example, the price was $18, we are selling it at $25. Now when there is some cashback available, for example, $10 cashback available, then we can also get $2.5 uh, uh, on profit on that product extra. Okay, so it is really easy to do that. What you can do, you have to just sign up with this uh, company which says admitted AliExpress. Let's open this in a new link. Now, as you can see here, it will show you what are the different rates that you can uh, get, for example, on different products. If you see over here, like hot products, you get uh, four to sometimes at uh, up to 90 percent higher other categories and all these things. You can go uh, through this and you can see all the different you know commission rates available. Now, what I'll do is I'll click on I am here and I want to register a new account in admitted. Select this and click on, I would like to be a publisher. Click on that button. Okay. I'm already logged in over here. So what I'll do is first I'll log out from here because I have already created an account. Okay. So now I'm logged out. Now I'm a publisher. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, however, I am publisher and click on sign up. Okay. Now this is the, uh, now it is really, really easy to sign up with this uh, thing and you, there are very high chances of you getting accepted from them. Okay. And it is very, very easy to get accepted. So let's fill in this simple form. Let us put in our first name, last name, your status, individual country, India. Let me put in my email address. Okay. Now login username, uh, maybe let me put in this thing. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we can set a password, simple password. Now click on this thing. I agree to terms of services. I agree to uh, privacy and cookie policy. Now click on continue sign up. Okay. This email is all already registered. I forgot that. Okay. So select and again, put in your password over here. Now click on continue sign up. Now over here you have to uh, enter the ad space type, what, uh, what you're going to use. So we are going to use website. So I'll type in website and here you have to put in your ad space address or your website address. So what I'll do is I'll copy my website link from here, paste it over here. Now, what is the name of your website? So I'll type in shoes market. Okay. 
select the region that you want to sell in so i want to sell in in india and also in united states okay here it is now what is the category so i'll select shoes from here okay let me search okay clothing and shoes select this now here you have to just type in how you are going to promote their product okay now here you can just type in i will be using uh, okay let's see how i will be using ali dropship on my website or on my e-commerce site ali dropship plugin on my web store okay just type in this and click on continue sign up okay i have already created a, a name a website with this name so let me change this let, instead of shoes market let me put in shoes bazaar and let's click on continue sign up now okay now as you can see they will send a registration they'll send some link on your uh, on your web, on your email address you have to click on that link and activate your account okay let's so for that come back to your inbox and here you'll see uh, we have this message we have this mail so simply click on this link okay and what you can do is uh, we, we can validate later on or what you can okay uh, let me show you actually how to do this so there are two ways to val uh, validate or verify your website now i recommend the second method okay so what you can do you can you know you have this load this file on the website root folder so what you can do you can click right click on this link okay this file link right click over here click on save link as okay and save this link wherever you want or maybe if you want uh, you can save this link on your desktop okay for example and here the name of it is verify admitted select it click on save okay if you already have just replace that file now you can we have to upload this file on our root folder and it is very easy to do so you have to use a uh, filezilla you can use filezilla you can use some other platforms as well now if you don't know how to set up filezilla what you can do is you can watch a video on my channel i have already told you about this you can watch that video it will be very helpful for you you can learn how to set up filezilla and after you do so i'll uh, you can follow my steps okay fine now here we have to search for the, our website folder for example my website name is ali.nayashik.com so let it uh, here is the folder ali.nayashik.com open this folder and uh, let's search for that file okay here it is verify admitted drag this file from your desktop to your website folder okay now it will i already have that file but it will ask me to overwrite it so i'll click on ok transfer finished now let me click on done check it okay as you can see it says add space validated successfully okay now we will be redirected to that page okay here is the page now we can just cut this thing now as you can see at the top we have this thing aliexpress thing showing up over here now at present it is pending but there are very high chance that, that uh, there are very high chances that you will be approved as you can see over here the approval rate is 96 percent so you will obviously be approved don't worry okay now what you can do is here after you get approved let me show you how it will look okay after you get approved it will look something like this you will see this uh, link over here okay this button link over here when you click on this link okay when you click on this this link it will uh, give you a pop-up something like this and here we have this uh, link okay at the top default link you have to copy this link and come back over here on your uh, on your website and paste it over here okay whatever that link is you have to paste it over here now that is it okay that is it for that and once you do so your affiliate thing will start uh, working and you can get nice amount of commission uh, you know one you're already earning a drop shipping profit plus you can earn some extra commissions through it so it is very very useful now you don't have to do any changes over here don't do any changes okay just let it be how it is now here we have currency settings first let me get rid of all these things okay we don't need all these things over here all right so let's come back over here we have the currency settings over here now if you want to round uh, the prices over here for example let's see this example here the price is showing 18.9 dollars now when you select this thing this thing will become 18 dollars okay now this will not show 18.9 or something like that so i think this is really useful or you can uh, you can do one thing you can do this or you can do something different for example you can uh, round the amount and you can assign some cents okay for example this when you round this thing it will become 18 dollars but uh, with that you can also assign some cents for example 
if you put 50 over here then this uh, thing will become 18.50 in fact all the product on your on your website they will be rounded for example if some product is uh, available for 10 dollars 30 cents it will become 10 dollars and because you have assigned this 50 cents it will become 10 dollars 50 cents okay i hope it is cleared so this is how uh, this works now the next option is order or uh, auto order settings now sometimes what happens is uh, the uh, customer does not give the proper phone number okay so what you can do you can put in your mobile number your phone number over here so if the person does not give their phone number your phone number will be used instead okay so it's all up to you you can use this thing okay so these were the general settings now the next setting is the pricing settings as you can see over here is the pricing settings click on this now this one is very very important okay this setting is very important because as i uh, just showed you earlier that what you can do is we can you know import this product and we change this product price if you remember we changed this product price and we made it you know 25 dollars instead of 18 dollars let me show you again uh, when we select this product when we select 9.5 here it is showing 25 dollars and here it is showing 18 dollars okay now you cannot do these things again and again you will be importing thousands of products and you cannot go and edit each and every product you know making 18 dollars to 25 dollars or 120 dollars to 140 dollars you cannot do that for each and every product so we need something to automate it okay to we need something that will automate this process so that is what that is when this thing is helpful okay it will give you a formula let me show you how you can add a new formula and how it this thing can really make your life easy okay so to add a new formula you click on this button add new formula the first thing is minimum cost and maximum cost so let me select this thing if the cost of the uh, of the product is at least ten dollars to maybe fifty dollars okay so what should happen now from here you can select uh, addition or multiplication so if the pr price of the product is at least uh, $10 and at, at the most uh, $50 what I want to do I want to add I want to add $5 to that okay so I want to add $5 profit on that or maybe I want to add $10 profit on that okay okay so this is what you can do okay so all the products that fall between 10 to 50 dollars you don't have to change their price all the products price will automatically be changed for example if the product price is 25 dollars uh, which is between 10 and 50 then what happens is that product price instead of 25 it will become 10 because we are adding 10 dollars over here okay so you can just click on update okay so this thing is added as you can see 10 dollars to 50 dollars your cost plus ten dollars so it is really really easy to do this now there is one option as you can see when when i click on this add recommended button there are many recommended thing that comes up okay so there are seven eight formulas which are automatically recommended for us for example here the first one is zero to one dollars okay so if the price of the product is below one dollar so what happens is we add a cost of uh, okay we make that price as 7.95 or 8 dollars if the price of the product is one uh, between 1 to 2 dollars we make it 9 dollars uh, similarly if the price of the product is between 2 to 5 dollars we make it 10 dollars okay if the price of the product is between 5 to 30 dollars we multiply it by 2 for example if the price of the product is 10 dollars which is between 10 uh, which which is between 5 and 30 we make it 10 into 2 into 2 which is 20 dollars okay and similarly if the price of the product is 15 dollars which is also between 5 dollars and 30 dollars we again multiply it by 2 which will become 30 dollars okay so if you want to change this formula you can do one thing you can click on edit and suppose i think 2 is more so what i'll do i'll make it 1.5 okay and i can save it so you have this option as well and you can see all these things over here okay this is a very good thing that we get we get some recommended formulas available for us okay if you don't want, like this if you want to make some changes you can just click on this plus button and do do that thing okay so this is really really nice now after this we have some update things update settings so click on updates now this is related to the updation of price uh, uh, the uh, because the price of the product will keep on changing on this uh, on this uh, website maybe the photos the thumbnails will also change or maybe in future the description might also change okay so what we want is we want these things to be updated automatically and regularly so this is when this settings comes into picture and this really helps us okay so let's see all these settings one by one the first one is 
what should happen when a, when a product disappears from aliexpress or it is out of stock for example in future if this product goes out of stock or if this product is deleted from aliexpress what should happen because if we don't do anything if this product is out of stock and if it is still showing on our website and someone likes this product they place an order then we will be in really uh, great problem because that product is deleted it is out of stock but we but a customer has placed an order for that product on our website and we have to provide that product to the customer anyhow so that can be a problem so this thing is really useful for all those uh, situations so what i want to do is whenever uh, the product disappears from aliexpress or is out of stock i want to send that product to draft okay so what this means is that product will be unpublished on our website and again when that product is available on aliexpress or it is available in uh, it when that product again comes in stock this thing will automatically publish uh, the product back okay so this is very very important so make sure you set this to send to draft or restore okay then after that we have when what happens when a variation disappears or is out of stock then again we have to set this thing to set quantity to zero okay or you can just select uh, disable enable it's all up to you so what i would recommend you is to select this one the middle one set quantity to zero zero now what this means okay for example we have a variation over here orange color 9.5 number okay 10 number of shoes okay so in future maybe everyone is ordering one particular variation like everyone is liking this color okay this color is really looking nice and most of the people maybe are ordering this eight uh, size eight of shoes now maybe this might happen in future that this size this combination is not available or is out of stock so what should happen when that happens when a combination or a variation is out of stock we want the we want to set the quantity to zero so whenever someone tries to order that combination on our website they will see that that is not available it is out of stock okay so that is very very important now after that we have when a product price is changed so we have to do uh, we update automatically when a product stock is changed again update automatically and click on save changes and you can uh, make this make your website auto update if you select enable you can auto update your website every day or every week or every month okay it's all up to you or you can set in your own uh, interval time interval now click on save changes after you do all these settings now after you do all these settings uh, in in future when you have created 20 30 products when you have imported 30 40 products whatever amount of products then what you have to do you have to click on this start button so that you know it you know updates all the information from that website now this th uh, setting is also done now let's click on nice attributes now actually we don't have to do anything over here the reason is very simple because we are using a premium theme over here and we are, we already have a very beautiful design now this is uh, this is nothing to do with all these things so i don't want to confuse you guys just leave it okay there is nothing to do over here now once we do all these things now let's come back to this uh, to the main dashboard and now let's do the main important settings the woocommerce settings okay now in the woocommerce setting we have to do some really important thing like we have to set up the shipping cost we have to set up our currency our location we also have to set up you know different checkout options for example stripe paypal whatever you like okay so very very important settings coming up so what you can do from the left hand side hover woocommerce and click on settings okay guys so the first setting over here as you can see is the general settings so in the general settings we we have some really simple thing we have to put in our address over here so i'll just put in mumbai you have to put in your complete address and you have to put in the country or state uh, that you are in so i am in maharashtra state which is in india so i'll select this one now which all are the countries that you want to sell to so maybe you want to sell to all the countries or if you want to sell to specific countries you can select sell to specific countries and you can enter all these countries over here for example you can select india or suppose if you want to sell, uh, sell in the entire asia you can just select asia from here it's all up to you and what you can do so suppose and suppose you also want to sell in united states so just you can just type in united states okay here it is so if you want to sell in more countries you can select all those countries over here now shipping locations we want to ship to all countries that we sell to which is fine and default customer location geo locate which is also fine now this is important uh, by default this pound is selected we don't want this pound we want united uh, state dollars over here or if you want you can select pakistani rupee indian rupee it's all up to you whatever currency you want you can select that okay now click on save changes 
now let's go to products we don't have to do many changes over here i'm just seeing uh okay now nothing to do under products go to shipping now let's create some shipping zones okay for example let's click on add shipping zone so the first one as i said you earlier will be uh, in this example we are selling in two different countries india and united states you can sell in any countries you want okay so first i'll or you what you can do you there are many different things for example if you want to set different shipping cost for entire asia or only for specific countries you can set this thing so i'm creating this shipping zone only for india so i'm naming it india zone and you have to select the zone region region so i'm selecting india okay now click on save changes now let's add a shipping method okay now select the flat rate click on add shipping method now click on edit okay now taxable no we don't want to make it taxable now the cost what should be the cost now suppose the price of the product is $18 okay so whatever the price is what is the amount that you want to charge as the shipping cost so maybe I want to charge maybe $3 so what I can do is or $2 whatever amount you want so normally what people do is they just put $2 over here and click on save changes now that is a problem why is that a problem because if the person orders one shoe from your website they will be charged two dollars but if the same person is you know ordering hundred shoes from your website they again will be charged only two dollars so this is a problem what you can do is you have to put something like this like 2.00 then give a space then put this asterisk sign and after that in this square brackets type in quantity qty okay if you want to see this what you can do you can click on this question mark button and you'll see this thing here it says you know as you can see the example enter a cost exclusive of tax or sum and we have this example 10.00 into qty okay so put this thing over here and click on save changes okay guys so with this we have completed one shipping zone so again let's come back to shipping zones we have created one india let's create another one add shipping zone and let me put it uh, usa the name as usa and region as united states okay here it is us click on save changes Again, click on add shipping method. Make sure it is flat rate. Click on add shipping method again. Edit. Okay. Taxable, non taxable. It's all up to you. Now, this time, maybe $5. Okay. So 5.00 into in the square brackets QTY. Select this. Click on save changes. Okay. So, so easily we have created two different shipping zones over here. Okay. So, whenever someone orders product from, you know, India, they will be charged $2 per product as a shipping cost okay now let's go to checkout click on checkout now here we want to enable the use of coupons and i'll show you how you can create coupons and give discount based on coupons okay then checkout process enable guest uh, checkout which is fine and tick mark this force secure checkout now if you don't have this ssl certificate showing over here don't select this okay or your website will crash now select this thing and under cart page select the card page that we have created under checkout page select the checkout page under terms and conditions page we haven't created any but i'll show you how to create that uh, you know in later on in this video and once you create that terms and conditions page you can again come back to the settings uh, under checkout and you can select this uh, that terms and conditions page over here now once you do all these settings come at the bottom and click on save changes now there are two main payment get gateways that are uh, accepted throughout the world one is paypal and other one is stripe okay so if you select paypal what happens is paypal is selected or is accepted in most of the currencies and in most of the countries so that is very widely used so we will see how to set up both paypal and stripe so let's first set up paypal so here at the top you'll see it says paypal click on that link make a uh, tick mark this enable paypal standards and enter your paypal email address over here go at the bottom okay now we have to enter these three information api username api password and api signature so what you can do is you can open a new tab type in paypal.com all right now if you see at the left hand side you will see seller preferences over here under selling tools so click on this link seller preferences link now here you have you will see this screen here it is it says api access and besides that there is uh, this update link click on that update link okay now scroll down at the bottom and go to this option nvp forward slash soap api integration and in the bracket it says classic so select this option and click on manage api credentials okay now here you have all the api credentials username password signature 
Now you just click on this show button. You will see your, your username over here. So you can just copy it from here and come to this page, paste it over here. Okay. Okay. Copy it from here. Let's see. Let's do it again. Copy. Come back to this page. Delete it from here first. Okay. And paste it over here. Now similarly, you can just show your password and signature. Copy it and paste it over here. Now once you do so, just click on save changes. All right, now we have this thing enabled. Now if, if you see over here, Stripe uh, option is not available. So let's add that. So to add that thing, we need a plugin. So hover plugin from the left hand side and click on add new. Now in the search plugins, just type in Stripe and select the first one by WooCommerce. As you can see, WooCommerce Stripe payment get gateway by WooCommerce. Select this, click on install now. Now let's activate this plugin. All right, guys. So that plugin is uh, installed and activated. Now again, hover WooCommerce and click on settings. Now go to checkout. And from here, if you see now, there are many different options available. What do you want? We want to uh, use Stripe. So here, uh, besides PayPal, we have the Stripe. Click on Stripe. Now, first thing that we have to do, you have to enable Stripe. Now, I don't want the title to say Stripe. I just want it to say credit card or debit card, whatever you want. And in the description, again, I want it to say pay with your credit card and I want to remove this thing via Stripe. Okay. Now I am using this thing in test mode because I want to show you how this thing works. Okay. How, how you make a payment because if I go to the real, if I, you know, make this thing off, if I make the test mode off, if I do a transaction, uh, the amount will actually be debited from my account. So I don't want that. Okay. So once you do so, just open a new tab and go to stripe.com. Okay. Or maybe if you already have the account, then go to dashboard.stripe.com. Okay. Okay. So this is my account dashboard.stripe.com. Now, when you come to your dashboard, stripe dashboard from the left hand side, you have this developers and under developers, you have this API key option. Click on that API key option and you'll see these two things over here. Now, if you see over here, it says, by default, the test mode is available. Okay. This is uh, showing the test API keys. Okay. Now here is the restricted API keys or we, we have not yet created the live API key. Okay. So I'm doing this test transaction. First one is publishable key. Copy this publishable key from here. Come to this page and paste it over here. Then we have this uh, secret key. Uh, let me put in my password over here very quick. Okay. Now copy this publishable key from here again come back over here paste it and go at the bottom and click on save changes now again i'm saying this is just for test mode once your website is live once your website is working make sure to you know make this thing off okay and uh, when you hover this thing view waving test data you'll see please activate your account link click on that link and follow the instructions and make sure first you activate the account and after that when you come to API key, you will see the live API keys. Okay. Live publishable key and live secret key. Copy those things from there and you have to paste it over here. Okay. You just make untick this thing and then you have to paste these things over here. Once you do so, just click on save changes. Okay. Guys, so after doing this, we'll see how we'll make a test payment and we'll see whether that is working or not. But first let's complete this thing. Let's click on accounts. Okay. Here under my account page make sure to select the my account thing from here okay and also enable this thing enable customer registration on my account page okay and go at the bottom click on save changes go to emails now and make sure for the first three thing new order cancelled order filled order you have your email over here now once you are done with all these things uh, under woocommerce you will see something called coupons click on coupons now let's see how to create different coupons so if you want to create your first coupon, click on this button, which says create your first coupon. All right, guys. So what kind of coupon do you want? Percentage coupon or price coupon? So I want uh, a percentage coupon or per percentage discount and I want to give 10% discount. Okay. So I'll just type in 10% over here and uh, allow free shipping. Okay. So what you can do is uh, you can create a coupon and that coupon will be used to provide uh, free shipping. Okay. So whenever someone uh, uses that coupon, they will be allowed free shipping. Now you can also uh, put uh, expiry date to the coupon. For example, let's put it uh, 
for uh, by the end of this month april 30th and at the top you have to put in the actual coupon code what you want that coupon code to say so i'll just type in nayer 10 okay so this can be a coupon code and in the description you can type in this uh, coupon code gives you 10 percent discount something like that okay fine now once you're done click on publish now this was the general settings we have some more settings related to coupons so click on usage restriction now you can set a minimum spend and maximum spend for anyone to use this coupon so minimum they have to spend one dollar and maximum they have to spend hundred dollars only then their coupon will work okay individual use only make sure to tick mark these things okay because if this if you tick mark this thing that coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons because you don't want the person coming and entering two three different coupons and ultimately getting the product for free we don't want that okay and also tick mark this thing because we want to exclude sales item if the item is already on sales then we don't want this coupon to to work on those items now if you want you can select certain products and this coupon will only be applied to those products okay so you can just type in the product name over here it will search for here and as you can see we have few products over here you can select that and oh this coupon will only be applied on those those products now you can also exclude certain products from this coupon you can you know exclude or include any particular category from here you can exclude or uh, you can restrict some emails from using this coupon okay so this is all settings related to usage restrictions once you are done click on update now the last setting is usage limit click on usage limit now usage limit per coupon we want only 10 people first 10 people to use this coupon or after that once 10 people has used this coupon after that this will not work okay limit uh, usage to x items apply to all qualifying items in cart okay so it's all up to you you can change this thing if you want this coupon to work only on one item you can just put in one now usage limit per user we will put one because one coupon this coupon can be used by a user only one time okay so do all these settings and click on update okay guys now let's come back to this page okay let's refresh it this is our website this is our product now let me do one thing let me select uh, this thing 9.5 number shoe orange color we have 95 in stock and the price is showing 25 dollars now let me add this product to cart okay so this product is now added to cart here we have the cart showing click on this and you will see your product showing over here now we can view cart from here okay this is how it is looking we have the coupon thing over here let's see whether it is working at present it is 25 dollars let me put in my coupon code which is nayer 10 click on apply coupon okay as you can see this is saying this coupon is not valid for sales item which means that this uh, the settings are working okay fine now here as you can see we have two options over here the first one is buy now or calculate shipping then proceed to check out so what you can do is first let's see whether this shipping thing is working so we can calculate shipping we can select a country for example let me select india as you can see only two countries are showing over here because we are giving uh, we are shipping only to these two countries so i'll select india Maharashtra is already selected. I'll type in my stay, my city name Mumbai. Click on up, uh, update totals. Now, as you can see, two dollars is charged, as I said you earlier. Now, what you can do, we can go click on this, proceed to checkout. Now, here, if you see, uh, we are getting different options. The first, if we have to put in some billing uh, details over here. Let me do it very fast. First name, last name, company name not required. Okay, one, two, three. Let me do it very, very fast phone number okay email address fine everything is fine now here you can pay either through paypal or you can pay through credit card now when you select paypal and click on proceed to paypal new link will be opened okay let me show you when we select paypal and click on proceed to paypal what happens okay as you can see now we have to log in with paypal or if you want we can pay with credit card or debit card but if you notice one thing we are redirected to paypal.com we are not uh, we are no more on our own website and you can see the price over here it's so it, it is showing 20 uh, 27 dollars the item price is 25 the shipping cost is two dollars okay now what i want to do is i want to come back to my website so let's click on this back button okay we are now that was paypal okay now let us see whether we can make payment through credit card so select this credit card 
now because uh, this, this is under test mode let me see whether this is working okay so i'm putting some card number over here and expiry date cvc number click on place order okay let's see whether this is working okay guys as you can see now it says thank you your order has been received order number is 141 this is the date email the price and the method okay let's see whether we have received this payment on our account or not so if you come to your dashboard let's click on this thing under developers you will see events click on events now as you can see we have successfully received this 27 usd you can see the date and time over here okay so this thing is working perfectly now if you want to see where this order is showing what you can do you can come back to your website and you can see under WooCommerce we have orders so click on orders and at present this is uh, the status is showing processing okay uh, the date as you can see two minutes ago this order was given the order number is 141 now let's click on this uh, order okay so this is the uh, order now what we can do because we have received the order we have also received the amount in our bank account now we have to place this order on aliexpress and aliexpress will ship this product to the customer now you don't have to do anything you just have to open a new tab and make sure aliexpress is opened and you're logged in okay so i'm not logged in let me sign in i don't remember the password but let me try click on sign in okay i got it right now we are logged in and we are we have opened aliexpress in a new tab now what you can do we can come over here and we can click on this button over here place order automatically now let's see what happens now as you can see uh, it is showing that uh, uh, this is the order okay the number the color the uh, the everything is showing over here okay so we as you can see here the product is adding to is again getting added to cart okay now we are doing some checkout and everything is happening automatically as you can see everything is happening automatically all the name address as you can see i didn't put anything all this thing is happening automatically okay i just have to make the payment so okay so as you can see all these things are getting automatic okay the name all these things are getting automatically filled in okay if you see over here the page is still loading okay let it load okay fine the loading is done now everything is automatically done all the address the number the phone number all the details that user has put on our website is pasted on this one okay it's pasted on this website the only thing that we have to do is make a payment and that order will be complete okay what you can do you can select this thing as you can see this is the phone number okay everything is showing over here the number the house number which i entered just now okay when we are doing that de demo payment so everything is done just make the payment and that order will be sent to aliexpress and aliexpress will deliver this product to this particular customer okay so this is how it works guys okay and if you see one thing let us let me open this uh, email address okay so as you can see over here we we have this uh, uh, order number we we have the receipt we have received the receipt on our website okay we have the product name the price the sh uh, shipping cost everything now if you want to add some note to the customer what you can do is uh, okay once everything is done here under add note let us uh, type in something okay your order or maybe your product is shipped okay is shipped you can expect your order within uh, by some date okay you can expect your order by monday maybe let's type in anything okay fine now do this thing and click on instead of private note select note to customer click on add okay now as you can see this note is added now again let's come back over here let's refresh this now as you can see we have accept we have received this note added to your thing and here hello a note has been added to your customer your product is shipped you can expect your order by monday okay so this is really a professional way of creating a drop shipping website and this is how you do it okay so these were all the technical settings related to uh, related to this website now let's see the designing settings okay now let's start designing our website so we have seen how all this technical thing works now we'll see how to design this website okay so let's do that now first if you see in the demo website the first thing that we have to do is to create this thing okay this section this sliding section and we have some animation going on if you refresh this page we can see that now as you can see 
there is some animation going on and we have this section over here. So first we'll have to create this section and we'll be creating this using slider revolution. Okay, so to do so, come back to your dashboard and at the bottom from at the left hand side bottom, you'll see slider revolution, click on slider revolution. Now first thing that you have to do, you have to click on this link new slider. Okay, default slider, which is fine. Now we can give it any name. For example, let me give it name home slider. Okay, same thing over here, home hyphen slider. Now make sure to select the standard slider from here and instead of this, this auto section, select full width. Okay, slide layout, select full width. And from here, let's change all these things. So for the first one, uh, we have to change this thing. Okay, instead of 868, put it 660. Now again, make this thing off. And here also, instead of 768, make it 660. And here, instead of 960, make it 324. And for mobile, make it 320. Okay, do all these settings, go at the top and click on save settings. Okay, so first thing if you see over here, we have this image in the background. Okay, if you see this thing, this beautiful thing that is a background image and this shoe is a different image. Okay, so background image is different and this shoe is a different image. So first let's add the background image. So if you see over here, we have this main background image, uh, select this thing. Now select media library. Okay, we don't have anything in our library. So what we can do, we can select files and we can upload that. Now all the images that I'm using in this, uh, in this we website, in this video are giving, uh, I'm, I'm giving those things for free to you guys. There is a link given in the video description below. Click on that link and you can download all the images, all the CSS files, HTML files, whatever I'm using in this website, I'm giving it for free. Okay. Go, go to that link, download everything. So let me see that here it is. This is the image which is used. Select this, click on open. Now click on insert. Now, as you can see, this thing is showing up over here. Okay. So this is working. Now, after that, if you see over here, we have this thing. Okay. Here it says only in, okay. Basically it is uh, showing you the date only between 4th of uh, April to 10th of April. So this is some sale going on weekend sale. Okay. So one for this week, 4th of April to 10th of April, this, there is some weekend sale going on, which is giving 20% off for everything. Okay. And you can click on this button to go to that page. So let's do that. First, we'll have to use or we'll have to create this thing, this uh, text thing. So come over here. Now, how about this add layer and select text or HTML. Now, if you see over here, it says only in 4, 4, Okay. So you can type it, uh, type anything over here. It's all up to you. I'm typing only in, okay, 4, 4, 2, 10, 4. Okay. It's all up to you. Fine. Once you do so, click on OK. Now, if you see the size of this is different and the size of this one is different. So that is because we have to change it here. If you see, this is the font size by default, it is 20, make it 25 pixels. Okay. As you can see, the size is increased and this is the line height, make it 18. Okay. Now also, if you see, this is the font width, which is 400, which is fine. So we don't, we want that. Now, if you see over here, there is something this border given over here. So that is how we have to design that. Okay. So if you want to do that, select this thing. Now here you have this style thing. And besides that, we have this below arrow. Click on this. Fine. Now go to background. We don't have to do anything over here. Go to spaces and we have to add some spaces. Okay. Some padding at top and bottom. So if you see the first one is padding top, just put in 16. Then we have the padding right, I guess. Yeah, we have the padding right, put in 36. Then padding bottom, again, put in 16 pixels. Then padding left, again, 36. Okay. So after you do so, as you can see, we have, we have this thing showing up. But we want to change the color of the border. Here, the color of the border is white color. So what you can do after that, we have this white, uh, we have this border thing. Click on border. Select this color and select white color from here. And if you see the opacity is set to zero, so what you can do, you can bring this thing at the top or you can just make, uh, put this thing to hundred percent. Now click on okay. Now we are here, we have to select the type of border. So what we have to do, you have to select this solid one, select solid and here put in two pixels. Okay. Two pixels from all the sides. Okay. So we have solid two pixels border on all sides. Okay. So this is how it is looking right now. So we are done with this thing. After this, we have this simple text weekend sale. Now let me do one thing. I am thinking something. 
let me bring collapse this menu so that you can see much properly and let me zoom out a bit okay so now you can i hope you can see more properly okay we you can see the complete screen over here so this is this was the first uh, thing first element after this we have this simple text we can sell so again how our uh, add layer and click on text now the first thing that we have to do we have to enter this text so let us type in weekend okay we have the weekend thing over here now let's change the size so let's make it instead of 20 pixels let's put 82 pixels and instead of 22 line height let's make it 76 and font weight let's make it 600 okay so this is how it is looking now you can drag it anywhere you want fine so this is how it is looking after that we have this sale thing so what I'll do, I because it is using the same style, what I'll do is I'll select this thing and I will select this copy button. Okay, here it is. Okay, when you select this thing, it will be copied as you can see. I, or what you can do, you can right click over here and duplicate this layer. It will do the same thing. Now I want to change this text. So I'll double click over here. I'll get this thing and instead of weekend, I'll put in sale. Okay, fine. Now let me drag this thing over here. Fine, this is looking better. After this, we have this text which says 20% cut for everything. So let's again, how our add layers, click on text or element and let's type in 20% cut for everything and let's change the size instead of 20, let's make it 24 and uh, line height, let's make it uh, 22, which is fine and uh, let's make it 600. Okay. Bring it over here at the bottom below this one looking fine and the last thing that we have to do we have to add this button so let's do that hover add layer and select button now as you can see this button the color background color is white the text color is something like green and when we hover this button the background becomes green and this uh, text color becomes white okay so it is really easy first we have to select the background which is white select white fine now text color we have to select green okay something like this okay fine okay and this is a you can see the live thing over here live changes over here and we want uh, to change the border color to let's see whether we have some border color okay we have this border color and the border color is also green i don't know if you can see that so select this border color click on okay and let's increase this to two okay border radius okay now this is how it is looking you can select some icon if you want okay if you want to change this icon you you can just select this and you can change any icon or select any icon for example in the demo website this icon is used so i'm selecting this one now hover state what happens when you hover this button now as you can see when we hover this button the link color change the background color changes let's see what's this background color so let me show you a very simple technique if you want to know the color which is used in any website what you can do is you can hover over that element for example we can hover over this button right click and select inspect now if you see over here at the right hand side you can scroll down till you find some color as you can see there is some color showing over here when you scroll down you see this color okay so this is the color code which is used we can select this come over here in this page now background and you you have to put in the color code over here paste that color code over here click on ok Okay, now as you can see when I hover this, this is the color showing. Now the color of the text will become white, which is fine. And the border color will also become the same. Okay, so I'm pasting in the same color code over here. Now as you can see when I hover this, this is how it is looking. Okay, now you have to change the text. Here it says get yours now. Okay, so let us put the, let us change the text to get yours now. Okay. Now as you can see it, it's okay fine let me change this thing now as you can see it says get yours now so whatever button you like for example i like this one whatever button you like just click on that button and it will be imported now you can select this button you can drag it anywhere you want okay so i'm dragging it over here now it's time to add this image okay so let's do that what i'll do is i think we have a lot of gap at the top so let's bring everything like this okay now this is looking much better now let's uh, bring that image over here so again uh, uh, click on add layer select image now let's upload the file select files okay this is the image the shoes image select this click on open 
Now click on insert. Okay, so we have the image showing over here, drag it over here. Okay, something like this, looking much better. All right, guys, so this is, uh, this is how your, this is how you create a, a, something like this, but we also have to change some animation. For example, if you, when we refresh this thing, let's see, there is some animation going on. Okay, as you can see, this is coming like this, all these animations are showing up over here. So let's change this animation and we also have to change the timing. For example, this thing comes first after this, uh, these two things come and all these things. Okay. If you don't understand, don't worry. Let me show you. For example, first select this thing. Okay. Select this, come at the bottom. And now if you can see this thing is already selected. So what you can do, we can click on edit and when should this frame start? So I'm selecting 500 ms, 500 milliseconds, which means half a second. So this frame should start at half second and how long sh should the animation go? So I'm selecting 1000 ms, which is one millisecond. After this, I want these two things to come. Okay, so I'm selecting this one weekend. Now I'll hover over here, click on edit. Now I want this thing to start at maybe, uh, maybe 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And the duration will be same, which is one second or 1000 milliseconds. Now for this also the same should be there because these two are the same thing. Okay. So with this also I'll select this is the one frame start thousand milliseconds and duration also thousand milliseconds. Click on OK. Then after this we have this text select it and this click on edit and I want these to start at 1200 milliseconds. Okay. So this frame will start at 1.2 seconds and the duration should be one second, which is thousand milliseconds. At the end, we have this image. So select this image, click on edit. I want this image, uh, I want, oh sorry, I, we have this button, I'm sorry. Select the frame start at 1.5 seconds, which is 1500 milliseconds and the duration will be thousand milliseconds. Then we have this image. I want this image to start at maybe, maybe one second, let's see, 1000 milliseconds and duration will also be 1000 milliseconds. Click on OK. Now if you want, you can see a demo how it looks. If you see at the bottom, this is a play button. Click on this play button. Okay. As you can see, all the timing are working. First, this thing comes and all these things are coming. Let's again click on play. Okay. So the timings are working, but everything is using the same animation, which is the fade animation. We want to change that. So let's see how to do that. Select the first one. Okay. So select the first one and go to animation here. We have the animation. And by default, fade in is selected. Now, instead of fade in, let's select something like, uh, oh, there are many animation you can select anyone, but I am selecting maybe this one, smooth, smooth mask from left. Let's see how it looks. Okay, this is how it is looking, but I think uh, not this one. Okay, let us see. Let's select this one, letter fly from left. Let's select this one. Okay, this is looking better. Now select this one and you can select any animation for this. For example, let me select letter fly from top. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, this is how it is looking. For this also, I want the same animation letter fly from top. Okay, here it is. And for this, uh, this 20% cut, let's select this thing and let us select uh, shot from left. Okay, as you can see, now select this one, this button and I want it to say long from left. So let's search long from left. As you can see, this is how the animation goes. Now select this image. And for this, I want this one smooth mask from left. Let's see. Okay. So this is all looking nice. Now let us see a demo how it looks. So you can click on this play button. Okay. So as you can see, this is really looking awesome. Okay. So this is how it works, guys. I hope you, uh, you have enjoyed it. So we have successfully created this slide over here. Once you're done with everything, go at the top and click on save slide. Now again, let me just zoom in so that we can see everything properly. Let's get this thing back. Okay guys, so we have this thing ready. Now we, what we can do is we can create uh, the home page and we can start doing all these things. We can start creating this home page just like the demo website. Okay. So let's come back to your dashboard from the left hand side, how our pages and click on add new. Let's give it a title of home. Okay. Now let's click on publish. Let's open this view. Uh, let's open this page in a new tab. So you see this view page link, open this link in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. 
okay so this is how it is looking now we we have to do some changes so here first of all we don't want this title to show we also don't want this breadcrumb to show okay let me zoom out a bit yeah fine we, we also don't want this breadcrumbs to show so we have to remove both these things and we also want a different header as you can see if you like this header you can keep it but i in the demo website we have used a different header okay so we'll see that header setting later on first let's remove this title and this breadcrumb so what you can do again come back to this page and when you scroll down here you'll see tech market page options so select this thing hide page header and also select this thing hide breadcrumbs and click on update now again come back to this page and let's refresh it now as you can see both the breadcrumb and this thing is gone now let's start creating our website just like this it is really really easy okay now before start doing that what i'll do is i'll import some dummy products because uh, before creating this uh, website we need some products okay only then it will look good if you don't have any product i think this will really look bad because at present i have only imported one product now what i'll do is let me show you how you can import products so from the left hand side okay we have the products over here click on products click on import now this is not the same import okay this is not uh, that aliexpress import this is just some dummy products which i have already created now i cannot go on creating 100 products at a time that will take a lot of time so i have some products already created i will import some products so that you know my website looks better okay now let me choose that file okay let us see where it is okay this is the file i'm selecting this click on open click on continue all right go scroll down click on run the importer now this importer will take some time because it is around 100 products so by the time if this is getting imported i'll pause this video once it's done i'll come back okay guys Okay, as far as you can see 200 products are imported okay and it has failed to import 136 products i don't know why but 200 products are enough for our website so let's uh, start creating our home page again click on pages okay so here we have the home page where it is click on edit now uh, when you uh, download this theme the tech market theme with this theme we get a premium visual composer or page builder you can say it now page builders are a very useful way to create you know or to design pages because we don't have to do any coding or such we just have to do some simple drag and drop so if you want to use this page builder just click on this button which says edit with king uh, composer now once you do so the first thing that we see on this page on our demo website is that we have the slider at the top so what i'll do is i i'll select this thing one column okay we, we can select different columns like one column two column three column now because this is under one single column i'm i will select one column over here now we can add some element in this now let's click on add element now we can search for any element so the element which we need is revolution slider so search for revolution slider and this is the slider which we have created home slider select it click on save now let's update this page again let's come back to this page let's refresh and see whether that is working or not okay so as you can see this is showing and this is really looking amazing okay so we have this page showing over here now after this we have this different banners if you see this is the first banner all these banners now this is also very easy to create what you can do select this one the first one add a single column now in the add element click on add element and search for banners now there are two options one is banner the other one is banners you have to select the banners one okay select that all right guys so first what you have to do we have to select how many uh, thing we want this in the first one we have this uh, image and here as you can see at the top it says women new collection so what we can do is we can select uh, background choice we can select image now let's select the background image click on browse image let's upload all these images click on select image okay let's see in the media okay these are the different images which are used so i'll select everything and click on open now this is the one that we need so select this click on select okay so we have this image over here now we don't want to give any background color or any height anything we just have to give this title and subtitle as you can see here the title is women and the subtitle is new collection so let's type that in the title let's type in women and in the subtitle new collections fine now everything is fine 
here you have to put in the link for example if you have some shoes uh, created for women's uh, if you have created a category for women's shoes you have to copy that category link and paste it over here in the action link so that whenever someone clicks on this they will be redirected to that one okay now here under the extra class name you have to type in something so i have simplified your work what i have done is i am providing you one uh, file if you see this file is also available in the uh, video description below you, you will see this file along with the images file okay so the file name is steps here this is the file open this file and uh, basically i create this file when i when i'm working on a demo website when i'm creating the demo website I write all these steps, how, what I'm going to do next, uh, all, all the different things, okay, which are useful. So here, if you see under the nine, uh, ninth option, the home page, first I added a slider. Now banners. Now if you see over here, banner CSS, now copy this CSS from here. Okay, as you can see here, it says large banner, text in center. Copy it from here and come back to your website and paste it over here. Okay, large banner, text in center. Now go at the top and minimize this one. Now let's add a new banner Add, click on add a new banner and let's add this one baby's new collection. Okay. Now again, select this image, browse image, select this baby's image, click on select. Okay. Uh, we don't have to put anything. Just type, put in the title baby's new collection. Fine. And paste in the same thing, uh, extra class name and just change instead of large banner, make it small banner. Okay make it small banner fine now what you can do we can again uh, minimize this thing and after that we have this kids and young new collection so again click on add new banner select that image uh, this is the one I guess select this image click on select okay I think we are missing one thing from here we have to select full size okay I think we missed this thing okay so from this size we have to select the full size click on select go at the bottom in the title what is the title it is kids and young so let's type in kids and okay not like this and young okay and in the subtitle again we have new collections fine now in the uh, extra class name again we have to paste in the same thing and change this large banner to small banner fine now again minimize this thing click on add new banner and the last one is this main collection so browse image select this image click uh, make sure it is full size click on select okay title men and subtitle is new collection now paste in the same thing over here and we don't have to do any changes over here now you can minimize this as well now when you minimize all these things you'll see one more thing over here which says extra class name now we have to paste in something over here so again go to that file okay this is the file and you'll see this thing over here main banner css now copy this uh, css from here come back to your website and paste it over here okay it says tech market hyphen banner space tech market hyphen grid hyphen banner hyphen one okay click on save let's update this thing okay come back to this page let's refresh it let's see how it looks okay as you can see this is looking perfect this is really looking amazing now we need some space over here we need some uh, space between this uh, slider and this thing so let's do that so what you can do you can select the first one uh, that this first section and click on this section settings now go to styling now from here select box and in this margin we have top margin bottom margin all this margin so select the bottom margin and let's make it 50 pixels okay so under bottom margin type in 50 pixels click on save again click on update let's come back to this file let's refresh and let's see the changes okay now we can see we have a decent amount of gap over here let's see what we have next after this we have this carousel as you can see this is the product carousel let's add this thing again come back to this page okay now uh, if you see again we have one single column over here so click on so click on this one add this column Okay, now click on add element and search for product carousel tabs. Okay, okay, we have many different things. Let's see, we have product carousel. Okay, product cards, product categories. We have, uh, this is the one, no, not this. Here it is, product carousel tabs. Select this one. Fine, we don't want any section title. Now header alignment. If you see over here, the alignment is at center 
and we have one more carousel over here here the alignment is at start or the left hand side okay the title is at the left hand side and here the title is in the middle okay so let's select that one in the center let's put a title here it says shop new arrivals 2017 let's make it 2018 okay and header alignment let's make it center now we have to add some tabs okay so the first tab as you as you can see over here it says all shoes so let's type in all shoes over here okay now what type of product do you want to show because it is all shoes you want to show all products so just select products and how many do you want to show so under limit we want uh, maybe 20 to show okay we want to show 20 but as you can see uh, at one time it is showing only five products okay so let's do that again come at the bottom and under template we have to type in something so again go back to this file and here if you see under template we have this thing over here we have to type this content uh, hyphen product with rating okay so type copy that thing paste it over here now don't put anything over here and leave this thing as well now come over here how many rows we, we don't uh, need this thing now slides per row how many slides do you need per row now here we have slides to show and slides to scroll so just uh, type in five in both of them okay five slides to show and five uh, slides to scroll okay as you can see five slides are showing and when we scroll again five slides are showing now we also have these dots at the bottom if you see at the bottom we have these dots so we have to enable dots here it is just make it enable now click on save click on update now again let's refresh and see how this looks okay guys so as you can see this is how it looks and this is really looking amazing okay we have one tab let's add some more tabs over here so again come back to this page click on this edit element and let's add a new tab click on add new tab let's see the demo website here we have next one is men then women then boys and similarly you can add many different tabs okay so let me do one thing let me give it a title of men and uh, maybe not men we are we have created different kind of products over here so i'll type in featured products okay all products then we have featured products and i'll select this featured thing from here now limit again i want to show 20 products and let's paste in the same template content product with rating and uh, come over here slides to show rest everything is fine just click on save let's click on update come back to this page let's refresh it all right guys so you can see we have this all shoes then we have the next tab which is feature products tab so this is working fine so after that let's see what we have after this we have this beautiful thing over here uh, this is a store notice okay very easy to create let's come over here again click on single column add element and search for notice this is the one notice select this just add the text you want to show over here so i'm just copying this text from here paste it over here click on save click on update come back to this file let's refresh this page okay so we have this uh, notice over here but i just noticed one thing that this is uh, not full width so let's make it full width so it is really easy what you can do is you, you can click on this button pencil button section settings okay then we have here stretch all content and uh, and wrapper and also select this force full width okay so select the stretch all content and wrapper and also select force full width and rest everything is looking fine let's click on save update this page come back to this page let's refresh it okay so this is now looking better now if you see one thing that uh, here the everything is blue okay now that is because here if you see the text uh, everything everything which is see here is blue and here we have some different color so first we'll create these pages and after that we'll see all these designing options how we can change the color and all okay then after that we have this section as you can see we have two different columns so let's add this thing come over here first what we'll do we'll add a single column okay let me show you why then after that we'll click on this which says add element and we'll select this one row inner okay and inside this row inner we can divide this into how many columns you want for example we want this uh, to be two different columns so what you can do we can uh, click on this and we can select two columns okay so we have these two columns over here now again if you see over here this thing is full width okay uh, rest of all these things that we created earlier this has some margins at left and right as you can see this is not touching the borders uh, at left and right this section is all uh, also not touching the uh, border at left and right but this section if you see this is a full width section it is com covering the complete page 
So let's do some settings for that. First, we will have to select this section setting. Select this section setting. Come at the top. Now scroll down and select this one. Stretch and uh, all content and wrapper. Also select this one. Force full width and equal height. Okay, select all these things. All these three three things. Now after that, if you see at the bottom, we have this row extra class name. We have to add some CSS over here. So again, go go to that file. And here if you see we have row inner and we have this CSS over here. Copy this CSS from here, copy it, come back to this page, paste it over here, click on save. Now we can add those different banners and all these things over here. Now let's click on this, let's select the first column and let's add this banner over here. So click on add element and search for banner. This time just this simple banner. Okay, let's select the image, let's upload the image, select files, okay media i think uh, okay this is the one select this image click on open okay select this image click on this section which says select come at the bottom okay title we have the title here it says be active so just type in be active okay then we have this section which says extra class css name Type in again the same thing, large banner, text in center, click on save. Now select this section and click on add element. And here we have this simple carousel as you can see. So search for product carousel. Okay, let me see which one. Here it is products carousel, select this one. Uh, we don't have to do, we, we don't have to give any title. We want it to show the, maybe the on sale product or top rated products. It's all up to you. So I'm, I am selecting the recent products, okay. So I want this to show the recent products. The limit can be eight products and template. We have to select the same one content product with rating. We have, we have this thing uh, given in the file. You can copy this thing and paste it over here. Now come scroll down. Now here we have to select slides to show two and slides to scroll to fine. And do we have dots? Let's see. Yeah, we have dots as well. So uh, just select this dot and click on save. Now click on update, come back to this page and let's refresh it. Okay guys, now as you can see, this is looking better, but we have some problem over here. We want, uh, we have some gap over here. As you can see, we have some gap from both the sides. So let's delete that gap. And also if you see this section ends over here. Now we want this section to be equal size with this section. Okay. So let's see how to do that again. Come back to this page. Now select this column. First column, click on this pencil button, edit pencil button, go to styling box and in the left and right padding type in zero pixels okay click on save now select this column styling box left and right padding zero pixels click on save click on update now again come back to this page and let's refresh it okay so this is looking better we don't have those gaps now but we have to do one thing over here we have to decrease uh, this thing we have to get rid of this one okay as you can see we have some a uh, gap at the bottom and we want some gap at the top and we have to get rid of this white section. So let's see how to do that. It's really easy. Select this one again, select the second column styling. First, let's add a background color because we, we, we want something like this. We don't want this white background color over here. Okay. So select the background color, come over here and uh, type in the code F5, F5, F5. Okay. Select it. Now go to box. And let's add some padding at top. So let's add 100 pixels padding at top and maybe 50 pixels padding at bottom. Click on save. Let's update this page. Come over here. Let's refresh it. All right. Again, let's refresh it. Okay, fine. So this is looking better. As you can see, this is looking exactly like the demo website. Okay. So this section is also done. Now let's come and let's create this section. This is also a very, very easy section. It's actually the same section that we have created over here. As you can see, it is also tabs. This one is also tabs. The only difference is that here we have around seven products showing. We have two rows and we have here. We have only five products showing and we have only one row. Okay. So it is really easy. Let's see how to do that. Click on one single column, add element and search for product carousel tabs. Here it is product carousel tab. Select this one. Now let's see the section title here. It is uh, in the demo website here. It says men best seller shoes. So let's put the same title, uh, header align center, which is fine. Now here at the first tab, what we have in the first tab, we have again the all shoes thing. Let's type in all shoes over here. 
now because it is all shoes i'm selecting products limit let me put 14 okay now template we want uh, the same template if you want okay no we don't have the same template because here if you see uh, we have the reviews showing but here we don't have the reviews showing when you hover this so we don't have to put anything under template we'll just leave it blank and now come over here and under rows put two rows as you can see we have one row at the top one at the bottom so two rows now here slides per row just uh, type in seven because as you can see we have uh, in one row we have seven slides and slides to show just put in one slides to scroll put in one enable dots which is looking fine now click on save let's update this page come back over here let's refresh and see the changes okay as you can see guys this is looking amazing okay i think this is really looking nice so this is how we create this section now let's see what we have next now this is not the section I'm going to create because I think it is uh, it will uh, confuse you a bit and I don't think this is uh, you know useful at all okay so I don't think this section is useful after that we have this section we have different categories or different brands showing so you can feature the different brands that we have on your website okay so first before featuring this thing first we'll have to enable something so what you can do at the top we have this tech market open this tech market link in a new in a new tab now here what you have to do you have to select this shop section over here and under brand attribute you, uh, you have some different option now these options are available only when you uh, you know uh, see that file when you see the file which i copied the product which i imported only then you will see this thing so i am selecting brands from here okay select this thing click on save changes now all these things uh, we'll do all these uh, settings later on first we are just doing some simple thing over here okay now cut this thing come back over here now if you have not imported that product if you have not imported all the products just like i did what you can do is you can uh, you can do one thing you can hover products and you have attributes open this attributes link in a new tab and here as you can see i have brand shoe size and color already added now if you don't have this added just add a new one like this is brand let me add a new one brands okay so you can add some something like called brands just add the name and click on add attribute so it is really easy to add the attribute once you add the attribute you will see uh, that attribute under that shop section which i just did okay now what we have to do we have to add some attributes okay so what i'll do is i'll select this brand attribute or you can select the brands attribute whatever you have selected now select this brand attribute and click on configure terms okay as you can see under terms we have this configure terms click on that now by default four you no know, six seven brands are already created if it is not created you can create a new one just type in your name for example fahem and put in the uh, thumbnail whatever thumbnail you want and click on add new so i'm i'm not adding a new one i'll just add thumbnails to this existing one so let's select the first one clarks upload uh, add an image now let me upload all the brand images here it is let me select everything click on open let's select one by one so let me select the first one graphic river click on use update back to tags select the second one nike obviously these are not the uh, icons or logos for this one i'm just selecting anything okay select this click on this one again back to tags now puma okay theme forest select this click on update again back to tags reebok upload or add an image uh, and let's select this one click on use image update again back to tags and let's select this one upload an image let's select this one okay use image update okay back to tags again last one woodland okay let's select any one let's select this 3d ocean click on use image update okay guys so once you do so what you can do you can come back to this section again and click on this add a new column add element and search for brands okay this is the one brands or brand carousel you can select any one now i am selecting the brand carousel because it is a carousel as you can see we can scroll it through using our mouse and all we also have these arrows so i'm selecting brand carousel we don't have want any title or anything let's put a limit of 14 okay and uh, let us one two three four five six it is showing six at at a time so slides to show six slides to scroll six okay now click on save now click on update 
let's get rid of this page come back to this page let's refresh it okay as you can see we have this section over here so this is really looking amazing okay guys so with this we i think this page is really looking awesome but there is one problem if you see over here uh if you do one thing if you press uh, f f12 on your keyboard now as you can see this is how it will look now you can click on this icon over here okay now this is how your website will look uh, on a mobile phone you can see this how, how your website will look on a mobile phone now everything is looking perfect except for this thing as you can see the tab thing is not looking good in mobile also it is trying to show five different tabs which is looking very bad rest everything i think is looking really awesome here these two tabs are working fine but here also it is showing seven different tabs at a time so we have to get rid of that thing first okay so it is really easy come back to this page again uh, now let's select the first tab the product carousel tab let's edit this thing okay let's minimize everything now if you see over here at the uh, at the bottom here it says breakpoint okay now we have to add four breakpoints over here the first one is 1400 okay and here in the slides per row we have to put five okay the second one click on add new breakpoint and here put in 1200 slides per row put in four then the third one click on add new breakpoint and put in 780 now slides per row just make it uh, maybe three okay now the last one click on add a new breakpoint add in 450 and let it be one now click on save changes okay now click on update again come back to this page let's refresh it okay now let's see how it looks on a mobile phone let's decrease the size over here okay now as you can see it is showing only one product over here so this is working very fine okay so this is how you do it now with this we have completed the home page okay after that let's see what we have next now let's change the header style as you can see this is the header style but in our home page we have a different header style so this is really easy now click on this tech market click on this tech market link at the top fine now go to header now by default header 1 is selected select header 8 okay now click on save changes come back to this page let's refresh it now as you can see header is changed and we are getting exactly the same header like we have in our demo website now let's change the footer elements as you can see we have these things in the footer here we don't have anything in the footer now so let's do that again come back over here now instead of header select footer and uh, first thing is that we have to select come at the bottom now come at the bottom scroll down and here you have footer logo block okay you can select this you can upload your own logo over here okay let's select and let's upload some logo over here let's upload this logo let's select this or maybe this no this is quite big so let's upload this logo click on select okay then uh, footer contact block click on okay so we want to show the contact block okay you can change all this information for example here it says uh, got question call us 24 7 so you can change this thing from here here it is what do you want to change if you want to change this phone number instead of this phone number if you want to make or if you want to put your own phone number you can change it from here easily okay you have all these things over here change it from here then you have the address this is the same address which is showing over here you can change your address from here all these things can be easily changed after that we have these things uh, these images so let's make it on as well okay okay everything is done automatically at the bottom footer if you see uh, this is here it says copyright 2017 and all these things now we have to change this thing now instead of 2017 make it 2018 and you can change something for example here it is showing shoe market your company name you can change this thing from here and at the bottom here it says made with love by some name okay so we have made with this heart sign and you can put in your name over here like let me put Nayar Sheikh okay now click on save changes now again come back to this page let's refresh it okay now as you can see we have this logo over here we have all these things showing we have recent post category meta and all these things showing now we have to change these things as well okay and we also have this made with love by Nayar Sheikh the footer thing that we changed now let's create a menu so again come back to this page okay how are you here uh, from the left hand side you will see appearances how are appearances and click on menu click on leave now you can name it anything for example let me name it main menu so i'll name it main menu click on create menu now here if you see in the demo website we have different things the first one is that we have super deal and when you click on this you have all the uh, you know 
the products which are there on sale all the products are showed over there then after that we have the all products this is the shop page then we have the compare page okay so we haven't created these pages we have created the track order page we we have seen that we have created the my account page but we haven't created the about us page the contact us page the terms and conditions and frequently asked question page okay so let's do that let's create those pages first so again come back over here and hover pages and click on add new or open that add new link in a new tab first let's create the compare page so click on just type in compare over here now once you type in the compare go back to that file and here if you see over here the 14 number here it says compare page link uh, short code is given which is tech market and all these things let me paste this thing here it is tech market dash compare dash page just put this thing and click on publish okay with this we have created the compare page now let's see what we have next we have the track order page which is fine we also have the my account page and all products is nothing but the shop page now let us see how to create a about us page let us let us first see how the about us page looks like click on about us now this is how the about us page looks like now i'm not going to create this about us page because that will take a lot of time so what i have done is i have given a file for you so that you can use that file you can just import that file and everything will be done let me show you again come back to this page click on add new page now give it a title of your choice so let us give it a title of about us and go back to this folder and in that folder that you have downloaded you'll see a file called about us page open that file copy everything that you have over there come back to your website and paste everything over here okay under over here now once you do so click on this button edit with king composer now as you can see everything is done automatically for you for example if you see over here the, you have all these things this banner and everything whatever you want to change you can change it from here okay you have this single image text block why we re what we really do all these things showing up over here so if you want to change this image you go over here you click on this edit this element you change this image from here okay it's really really easy we have seen these things uh, while we were creating the home page how to change all these things just go on and you can change everything over here it is really simple just change the content don't change any settings for example if you want uh, instead of what we really do if you want to do something else for example let us see here it is so click on this edit this element and here it is what we really do just delete it and type it anything you want okay and after that click on save changes after you're done doing all these changes cl just click on publish fine so this is this was our about us page now let's see how the contact us page looks like okay here it is contact us page okay so this is how it is looking now again you don't have to create it just click on add new give it a title of contact us just put in the title over here and again go back to that folder and here you'll see this contact page open this copy everything you have over there come back over here come back to your website and paste it everything over here okay paste everything which you uh, copied from there over here and click on edit with uh, composer and you'll see everything over here okay you have your leave your message then we have your map over here we have the address now let me show you how you can change your address and everything for example here we have this address now we we want to change this address so what you can do is here we have the address opening hours all these things so click on edit this element and let's see where we have here we have our address instead of this address whatever you want to do you just select it delete it and put in your own address over here okay fine now click on save and here also we have the uh, opening hours and everything you can change all these things click on save now we have this map over here let me show you how you can put in your own map okay first do one thing open a new tab type in map or uh, google.com slash maps okay and type in your address for example basically it will show you uh, the address over here it has tracked my location now what i'll do is i'll click on menu then go to this option share or embed page or share or embed map embed a map okay now copy it from here come back to this page okay edit this element and paste in your code over here okay and don't change any height or anything just uh, make it save click on publish okay with this you have completed your contact us page let's see how it looks let's open this page in a new tab now as you can see it is showing my address instead of this dummy address over here okay and also we have changed here it is showing mumbai so it is really really easy to do this okay we, let's cut this thing now after that we have this uh, terms and conditions and fact page so again come back over here click on add new let's create the fact page okay 
again come back to that folder here we have the fact page copy everything from here come back to this page and paste everything over here now click on edit with visual composer let's see how the fact page looks like by the way click on this okay as you can see this is how it looks what whenever you want to change some question for example what ship, shipping method are available and this text you go over here here is the first question select this instead of this question whatever it is uh, change it and change your answer okay it is really really easy do everything like this and click on publish and your fact page is also ready now i don't want to show all this page because this is you know it, it is just wastage of time when you have all these things available you just have to change this thing then why create everything from scratch okay the main thing in this video tutorial was the setting up of that plugin and how you can use that plugin and we have seen that in detail okay rest all these things are just bonus things okay so that is what it is don't focus much on this just follow my steps whatever i am doing copy everything and you can edit everything from here okay it is really easy to do that now the last page is terms and conditions page let's see how it looks okay very simple only text so again come back to this page click on add new and let's type in terms and conditions again go back to that folder again come back to this folder and here it is terms and conditions page copy it from here go back to your website paste it and click on edit with visual composer and here you have simple text you can just easily change all these things it is just simple text okay now click on publish okay guys so with this we have completed all this page now what we can do you can come to this page the menus page click on save menu first okay now you'll see all these pages showing up over here now click on view all and uh, just install or just select all the pages that you want to show so we want compare page contact us fact page all the pages that you want to show select everything my account page order tracking uh, terms and services click on add to menu now make sure primary menu is selected now bring the top uh, home page at the top and whatever page you want you can just select the order for example let's bring this compare page over here order tracking page over here okay now click on save menu now come back over here let's refresh this page okay guys so now as you can see the menu is showing but there is one problem over here uh, this is our home page but we don't want uh, the, this to show something like this for example when someone comes directly to your website they will see something like this they won't see your home page so let's set our home page so that whenever someone comes to our website they can see the home page okay so come back to your dashboard again and hover settings from the left hand side and click on reading now instead of your latest post select this one a static page and select your home page from here select the home click on save changes come back to this page and let's refresh it okay now as you can see the home page is showing over here now let's see uh, if we have missed if there are some settings left so again come back over here now click on tech market from the top okay the first thing is general settings first let's make this enable the scroll to top button so whenever we come to this here we have at the bottom scroll to top button okay let's so this will enable that one click on save changes we have seen the header settings from here okay so it is nothing to do shop setting now let's see how the shop page looks like okay so we haven't added the shop page over here in the menu that we missed out let's see how to add that how over this and open this menus in a new tab now to add a shop page it is really simple go to custom links first put in your website url okay so i am putting my website url here it is ali.nayashek.com slash shop okay so put in your website url forward slash shop and in the link test as you can see in the demo website we have all products so let's type in all products over here okay click on add to menu now sc scroll this thing at the top let's click on save menu okay now let's see how the website looks okay now we have this all products over here let's click on all products okay so this is how the all products section is looking okay so we can change this styling from here if you go if you see over here under the shop page uh, we have the shop or catalog page whatever you want to show whatever you don't want to show for example uh, here we left sidebar is selected but we don't want this gap over here we don't want any sidebar over here we want this to be a full width page so what we can do is instead of this left sidebar we can select full width and make sure this is under this section shop slash catalog pages section okay now click on save changes again come back to this page let's refresh it 
Okay, now as you can see, we don't have that sidebar is gone and everything is looking perfect. Now let's open a single product and let's see how it looks. Now as you can see, this is how a single product looks. Now we can see uh, change this style also. Let's see how to do that. When you scroll down, we have this single product page. Now if you want, you can have left sidebar or with this also you can have full width. When you select full width, click on save changes. Let's see how it looks. Let, let's refresh this page. Now as you can see, this is how the full width uh, template looks like. Now we have some more option. When you select full width, you get more option like single product style. It is normal. Now let's select extended. Click on save changes. Again, come back over here. Let's refresh and see. Now when you select extended, this is how your style of your website looks like. Okay. So you can uh, select different style from here. It's all up to you. Okay. Rest everything is looking fine. Let's see some more settings. Go to footer. We have seen all the footer settings. Social media, come over here and put in your social media profile, social media URLs over here. Now go to styling and instead of blue, whatever color you like, you can select that. So in the demo website, we have selected the flat green. So select flat green, click on save changes, come back over here. Now all these blue buttons should be changed to flat green. Let's see. Let's refresh this page. Now, as you can see, all the uh, thing are now changed to that beautiful color. Okay. So this was related to this uh, theme settings. Now, if you want to change the logo, if you see there is nothing over here, you can put in your logo over here. So what you can do, you can click on this customize button at the top. Okay, fine. So now uh, here we have the general settings, click on general. Okay. Now, if you want to change the logo, here it is. Click on this pencil button. Okay. You can select the logo from here. Let's select the logo, some, some really simple logo. Let's select this one. Click on select. Okay. Click on crop image. Okay, now that logo is showing over here. So you can select any logo. Make sure it is backgroundless logo. It is transparent logo. Okay. Now we also can add a site icon. Let's see what that is. Click on set image. Now let's select this one. Click on select and let's crop this part. Click on crop image. Now, as you can see at the top, this is the uh, thing over here. This is the icon which, which you see. This is what the site icon is. You can see the example over here as well. Now click on publish. Now let's come back. Let's see what we have next. Okay. Rest. Everything is fine. We have, uh, we have done everything. Let's cut this thing. Okay. guys. So with this, we have completed this website tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Okay. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also cl click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. If you, if you find this video helpful, then give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any questions, any queries whatsoever, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.